prayer. It's all about choice, yeah. Reason my master. Reason my life, my Jehovah, my God. Reason my master. Not the only prayer. Wait for my mouth. Reason my master. Reason my life, my Jehovah, my God. Reason my master. Not the only prayer. Wait for my mouth. Trouble in my heart, I they worry if I go survive through the night. Give me your ticket. They look me. You know, I said go pay today. Which ticket again now? They ask me which ticket. Yeah, now your papa. What I gave you yesterday. You pay yesterday or you don't pay for today. I just started work this morning. Bring your ticket. I know what I'm This man didn't even give me. He said I don't care. Give me your ticket tomorrow. Give back. Come on, come on here now. It is how they play. I don't have any money. Guy, are you mad? Guy. So soon, I'll come back another time. I've noticed something about you. And what is that? You're not always relaxed each time we're together. I know you're being haunted by your past. But you have to forget about your past and move on with your life. Hmm? Thanks for the advice. I have to go now. When will you invite me to your house? Hmm? Did she see my house? <sighs> oh, so, sorry. Maybe I said the wrong thing. I, I will just walk you to the road. Wait for me now. Where are you running? If she talks about it again. How do I tell her I live in a place like this? How do I tell her I live in an uncompleted building?
all about choice, yeah. I'm so sorry I've not come to visit you guys. You know, since I came back, I've been trying to get my hospital license. But as God may have it, I've gotten it. Oh, oh hospital. God. Yes. Hey. It is done. Yes, it is done. Hey! I can't oh. play. You're welcome, my dear. I missed my father. Uh -huh. <laughs> huh? hey. so, okay, let's go inside. Um, get the bags. Uh, yes. Hey! <laughs> Juliet! Sorry, do I know you? How can I help you? Juliet! It's me, Felix! It's a long story. Do let. How are you? Wait, wait, wait. You're seven here. You're now a youth copper. Ah, congratulations. Thank you. Anyways, I I passed out yesterday. Yeah. So, but my parents stay here, and automatically this is my house. Eh? I'm happy to see you again. I'm happy, like, I Where are you home. going? I'm actually going home. Like, let, let me. <laughs> Since I left the hospital, I never went back to my stepfather again. Are you serious? Yes. Well, we all thought you were traveling for a few weeks, then, then returned. I never went back. I never did. <laughs> this is serious. Oh, wow. So tell me, how is your mother? My mother. Did you say my mom? <laughs> no. No. Don't tell me she's dead. My mother is not dead. Thank God. Juliet, my mother is in prison. She's in jail. What? Yes. Hey. Don't tell me you're serious about everything you just said here. Well, Juliet, I can't be joking with what I said now. Who jokes with a thing like that? Listen, my mother got into a serious fight with my stepfather. Out of self-defense, she stabbed him. On her way to the hospital, he died. And the police picked her up. Now, wow. This sounds so unbelievable. I mean, thank God I wasn't there. I don't know what would have happened. But I'm here, a poor man. Walking in a motor park. I strongly believe that God is going to save me one day. And if he does, I'll probably go back to school. Sure. God will save you. God will come to your rescue. In fact, God will help you. Okay, just believe. Juliet, do you know what I've been through? If I tell you what I've been through, you will cry for me. Do you know I... I even started stealing. Just to put food in my mouth. But I had to tell myself the truth. If I had continued like that, I would have ended up in jail like my mother. So I stopped. Philip, look at me. See, it is not your fault. It is not your fault. You are only a victim of circumstances. It is not your fault. Don't beat. So don't blame yourself for anything. Okay? 
Hmm? So tell me, have you heard from Anna? Where is she and... Anna? Yeah. No, I've not heard from her. But I believe she's a doctor now because she was very determined to be one. Yeah, you're right. I think so too. Madam, we're waiting for the food now. Now, just the day here. Okay, arrange this game well. Right, I do. Muka, see, make sure I know they scatter games here. Every time, you know they play like well, they play left, you know they play uh, right. Uh, so that play, play this man. I don't know where, where you come from. General, General market. market is for everybody. Play, play, play. Now you, now your turn to play. Make, 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 know they waste time for this, this game. Where, where would they play like this? No time. I won't go where they, they, they where they, they do fish and I don't order that. Wait, now you don't, you don't get go market now. Wait, wait, wait. Play now. Muna know they waste time. I don't tell you this thing. Put, put this game well. I don't know what thing they do with this man. Yeah, that's it. What's the hold up? Play. Yeah, play. Um, okay. I get on five. They go off key. Cross last card. Check. Uh -huh. Wait, wait. Do you want to put the soup on this guy? Baba, you get what I want to ask you. He carried Juju come for this game. He blessed me. Wait, 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 See what you do. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Go. 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 That your daughter's eye result, the line with the eye is a measure. It is obvious that your daughter has glaucoma. Eh? Glaucoma? Yes. And if nothing is done about it, I'm afraid. I'm blind. Hey! Doctor. Hmm? Doctor, is there any way you can help? Mm -hmm. Of course. Do you see why I said I will not come to this place in the very first place? Have you seen it? Doctor, nothing will happen to my daughter. Eh? I have some men who call themselves my kinsmen. Their duty in my family is to kill a sight. They successfully killed my first son. Now they are squatting playfully, targeting to kill my daughter, but I will not give them time. I will never give them time. Is that Chima? Come on. There is nothing like that when you do case in your daughter. Doctor, say the one you know. 
So you want to tell me that you don't know about Nduke and Ndamutu? I have two of them in my family. They are, they are, they are just after my daughter. And their duty is to kill her side. Let me not let me not get home before. Mr. Tim, I think it is a place. I'm not taking it. Don't talk to him. Yeah. Hey, I will talk to him. You say it is only surgery that can be done. Yes. Don't do it. And very fast. Very fast. Okay. I will talk to him. Just take it easy, okay? Fine. There is no just any how I am going to allow Anna to go through that surgery. I don't want to allow it to happen. Not in my own time. Nay. Would you rather she goes completely blind? Why don't you reason from the side of the doctor? I don't want to reason to any side of the doctor over my daughter's health. I don't want to reason with the doctor. Why? I ask you again, why? Oh, you don't know. You don't know that Ikena, my brother, is, 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 a, is a wizard. He's practicing wizardry. Eh? I don't want anybody to come to my house for any kind of condolence visit. The moment you, Hannah moves in for, for the surgery, the next thing you, you will see is Ikena striking. And then people will start coming for condolence visit. It's not, it's not in my house. So it will not happen. Oh, you see, you are not seeing all the things that I'm seeing. No, this is not making sense to me at all. Mm. I, I'm, I'm, oh, it's not making why sense. Why do you me. choose to reason? Okay, yeah. it's not making sense. Whether what you're saying, what I'm saying is making sense to you or not, she is not going to go for any kind of surgery. My word is final. No, I rethink, please. You, 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 have you to rethink. rethink. You have to rethink. You have to rethink. You have to rethink to see some dialogue. This. Stop, let he me talk. Is our daughter. Eh? He is our daughter we are talking about here. You it's have my to daughter's rethink. life I'm talking about. Eh? My Kikena. No, you have to rethink. Your... The fear of Kikena is the beginning of wisdom if you don't no. know. Eh? Yes. No. no. Hey. Guy, you see this guy with a call Felice. Uh, what I go do him if I will come up for this school? What I go do him? You go clear him. Leave that guy and I just like I'm okay. I don't go feel leave him now. Nah. I don't go feel leave him. Nah. What do you teach him for the school? They like the guy. I don't understand. Go and do the kiss. The worst part is I be saying the girlfriend why the eye. The guy don't collect him. See the girl. Anna, come here. This is so good. I don't know you come the way me like. They didn't even they call you, Sam. She needs to come like this. <laughs> ah. See, 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 eye glass. Are you okay? Please, now, all this has any problem. Miss, Miss, Miss Google. Miss Google. Are you, are you, are you okay? Miss eye glass, are you okay? See, yo, see, yo, see, yo, please, like. What is happening? What is happening? Huh? What is happening here? Uh -uh. I am asking you, what is happening here? What do you see now? Nothing happened now. Uh, we are just joking. So we are just daughter. joking with your daughter. You are joking with my daughter. We are just joking with her. We are not serious. It's just, it's just the four eyes. You are joking with my daughter. We are just joking with her. With your? Ah, sir, sir, it's just the four eyes glasses that we are ah. just joking. Don't with. try this. Don't try it next time. Listen, any day you hear about you, see my mama and say, wrong. Ask about me in this community. When next I see you around my daughter, talk more of joking with her. So I ran your goggles. <laughs> your goggles. Where is the my mother's goggles? I am man. Look at this one, like, like a, a pure Romano. Look at how tall you are. You cannot shape your, your, your size. I'm not here. You are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are talking about eyes glasses. Do you know what eyes glasses is, is all about? Can you mention your, 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 what eyes glasses is? Can you spell eyes glasses? What? Well, let's go home. Let's go home. Let me see those idiots. And his cohorts will continue to fail in their evil plans against my family. Okwikena and his evil gangs, they will not succeed. They will not succeed. Eh, eh, Yes, no, I'm in Lagos. Your father is here. Eh. <laughs> okay, let me speak with him. He's here. Good night. Hey, our daughter. Hi, Anna, how are you? <laughs> my sweet father. Hey, my sweet daughter. <laughs> so how is um, uh, London and Queen Eliza? 
Uh, she's in Nigeria. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, you mean you are in Nigeria right now? Yes, that's what she said. Um, yes, I'm in Nigeria. Currently in Lagos. Hey, well. <laughs> uh, Mr. Bajo, we cannot wait to see you. Uh, I haven't really settled down, but as soon as I do that, I'll be coming back to see you. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, bye. Love you. Okay, mommy, take care of yourself, okay? Bye. <laughs> yeah, well, she's in Nigeria. Yeah, but just, but just, but just, but just, but she's not coming back today. She said when she finished work there. Yeah, yeah, is that what she said? Yeah. Yeah, well, she's doing something. Yeah, well, no, so you have to prepare she... whatever you oh, Of course I will. Yeah, well, okay, I'm going to hey. 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 I'm not fine. The doctor said I might be having glaucoma. Yes, I know, but he said mine is hereditary. Yes, ma. I don't know how my mother is going to take this. I'm worried about her. Seems like yesterday. Ma, the doctor said I might be having glaucoma. Glaucoma? Aren't you too young for that? They see that my own is hereditary, I don't know. Hereditary? And they gave you glasses to manage it for now? Yes, ma. Oh my god. Hannah. I am happy to have you back in this school. Thank okay? You. Thank you, ma. But I want you to do one thing for me. Ignore whoever that does anything to upset you. Okay, ma. Do you hear me? Okay, ma. I'll try my best, ma. Good. And I have good news for you. Really? Yes. Okay. The school has enlisted you as one of the five most brilliant students to join the examination for United Nations Scholarship Scheme. Wow! Yes! Jesus! Ma, are you serious? I am serious. Jesus! My mom will be very, very happy to hear this. Thank you so, so much. You're welcome. Wow. You're welcome. You know you deserve the best. You know Jesus, that. I'm so, so happy. You know that. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. And another thing, if you write the exam and pass, the scholarship will be taking care of your remaining school years wow. in this secondary school. And 
cover all your university levels. Jesus, thank you so so much. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Okay. I run along, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. But wait, who did you say the other four people were? <laughs> Honey, I don't know. I have no idea. How can you say you don't know? But you said she called you to her office to tell you this. Yeah. She first talked about Peter and Carl, who was busy laughing at me at class today, making fun of me. Are you serious? I'm serious. And after that, when she finished, she talked about scholarship. But I thought she just said that to... to to share me up. I don't know, I don't know. Who cares about cheering up or not? God, I mean, you have all your expenses paid up front. Hey, I'm so proud of you. Thank you, honey. Thank you, thank you, honey. Yes. And I'm ashamed of you. Ashamed of me for what? Aren't you ashamed? Hmm? For what exactly? They give this witch scholarship and you are here being proud of her. Is she proud of you as her friend? Okay, let me ask you. Are you even proud of yourself? Anyways, why will you be proud of yourself when you don't know anything? Siesta, I don't know the issue you have with Anna. But please, I want to beg you, keep me out of this. Keep my name out of your lip. This is coming from the fact that you are so stupid and blind to see that this witch here keeps opportunities and privileges for people like you and I. And when she does that, people like you are always proud of her. Stupid girl, you are very foolish. Esther, Esther, let this be the first and the last time you will ever say this kind of thing to me. Did you hear me? Anna, let's go. And what will you do? What will you do? I don't have your time. You stress girl. Keep being stupid. Rubbish. believe it. <laughs> Hannah's name has been shortlisted for scholarship hey, and it will end up taking her to America to study. Hey, no, hey, hey, hey. 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 Is it true? <laughs> yes, Papa. Chideke. Chideke. Hey. 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 Scholarship. Yes, Papa. I'm oh, happy for you. No, I'm happy for you. It's just that uh, I am beginning to miss you as long as this scholarship routine will last. I am missing her already. It will last. Don't worry, Papa. You don't need to bother. Just don't worry yourself. Every school fees, everything. Like, they have paid everything to my university. So you don't need to bother. Hey! Have you seen Your school fees have been paid? Yes, everything. Hey! I'm so happy. I'm not going to pay anything. Look at me. I've made it. I'm now a doctor. The evil ones in my village that wanted to put themselves in shame, not me, have been disgraced by God. Everyone addresses me as Miss Doctor Hannah China. My parents are happy and excited. <sighs> oh, he was a good man. It's been long since I saw him. I'm sure I will see him someday again. Life is beautiful. When you see your dreams come true, you 
feel fulfilled, elated. Thank you, God. What am I doing? Felix, what are you doing? When did you become a thief? Hi. What have I done? What nonsense is this? That woman will be searching for me everywhere now. Hi. I hope no one followed me here. Stop this nonsense. Who are you and what do you want? Don't you remember me? My name is Uju. You carried my luggage some days ago. So what do you want? Why are you here? I saw you run into this place. And I was worried. I just wanted to find out, are you in some kind of trouble? Trouble? No, 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 no. I'm okay. Please, did anyone see you enter here? No. Why did you ask? Nothing, I'm just asking. So, what's your name? What? Your name. My name. My name is Felix. What? Felix. Felix? Yes. Oh, okay. So, what are you doing here? Um... I, I actually came to see the engineer handling this project. Before I got here, he had already left. This project? Yes. Since when? Huh? I mean, this project, since when? I started it a few years ago. Oh, oh, a few years ago. Yes. I thought as much. Anyway, I have to take my leave. All right. Be good. Bye.
something between the stars. Yes, and somebody must be around here. Please, go in and search for him before he gets away with my goods. Alright, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's 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 This will be the woman park. Yes, that means that hardened criminal must be around here. So we need to search other places. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait. I think I had a sound. Mm. Thank God I left the building before they entered. Ah, God, please forgive me. I'll never do this again. My parents are responsible for my behavior. You must give me today. You must give me money for feeding. If I kill you, nobody you will stop me. You must give me money for feeding. If I kill you, you nobody so will you stop me. You don't have money, Abby. But you brought another woman into this house. You must I give can't. me money for feeding today. So that's your problem. Yes, you will not leave it this place. It is my life. It is my choice. I will carry them as many as I want. You're Go and do the other things the other women are doing. Go and do the other women are doing. You two should stop this right now. You can, are you mad? If you dare shout at me again, why are you stupid You boy? cannot do anything. Touch him, let me see you. Touch. You never a stupid boy. If, if I call any woman, is it your business? Is that what you are telling me? Yes. Is that what you are telling me? Yes. Don't mind this useless man. do this every time. Papa, why? Don't Mama. mind this useless man that calls himself your father. He brought another woman into this house. You're asking me why? Yes, I brought another woman because she cannot give me the way she's giving me. Is it your business? Patrick. If I like, I bring white, black, small, big, tall, fat, thin. It's my life, it's my choice. Papa, Patrick. but why do you keep doing this now? Why do you keep doing this now? Get your phone. 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 Breathing my mouth out, and the only prayer It's all about choice, yeah Breathing my mouth out, yeah Breathing my life, and the hope of my God Breathing my mouth out, yeah And the only prayer, wait here for my mouth Breathing my mouth out, yeah Breathing my life, and the hope of my God Breathing my mouth out, yeah And the only prayer, wait here for my mouth Trouble in my heart, I do worry if I go survive through the night. Things don't wash time, it be me like say make I just keep up on this life. Oh, nobody would understand what I've been going through. This life hasn't been fair to me. One problem to another. He can't who go more. Give me a reason to smile again. If not one minute, make I happy. I am down on my knees, I beg you, please. Reason my master. Reason my life, my Jehovah, my God. Reason my master. And the only prayer, wait here for my mouth. Reason my master. Reason my life, my Jehovah, my God. Reason my master. And the only prayer, wait here for my mouth. Oh. Oh.
hole in my heart. I do worry if I go survive through the night. Things don't wash die. It be me like say make I just give up on this life. Oh, nobody would understand what I've been going through. This life hasn't been fair to me. One problem to another. He can't who go more. Give me a reason to smile again. If not one minute, make I happy. I am down on my knees, I'm begging you, please. Reason my master. Reason my life when you over my God. Reason my master. I'm the only prayer. Pray for my mouth. Famous. You mean this happens every other day? Yes, it happens every single day. It happens every single day and I'm tired. See, I feel like running away. Run away? Yes. To where? I don't know. I don't know, but I feel like running away. Felix, you need to listen to me and listen attentively. Hmm? You wouldn't need to do anything funny. Everything is going to be fine. But, we are there always this way? No. It's just that my father just keeps changing for the worst. And I don't like it. I don't like it. <sighs> Come. Everything will be fine. Okay? Everything is going to be fine. You can go home. Well, I guess she's right. We all have our own unique issues. It's just a matter of time and everything will be okay. You know, I have waited to be an eye surgeon and now the doctor is saying that I'll be battling with one of the most wrecking eye defects, like glaucoma. And how on earth am I supposed to be a good and successful surgeon with my own eyes closed with glaucoma? Like, <laughs> like seriously? But you said you were advised to undergo a surgery if it is needed. Over my dead body, God forbid. I'll never undergo anything in life, never. But why? Isn't that what you're going to be doing for other people for the rest of your life? Listen, I belong to one of the most diabolic family ever. That surgery might be one of that one's opportunity they have ever waited for. Does this have anything to do with your fear? For an extended uncles and auntie? Listen, you won't understand. Those people don't love me and my family. They don't. What if you're just being afraid for something which is not there, actually? <laughs> Even my father knows about everything. They are responsible for everything. So wait, are you saying your father told you that the eye problem was caused by all this? Juliet, they are responsible for it. And they are patiently waiting for the day I'll be going for the operation. What should happen? And they will take off my eyes and all the dreams of being an ophthalmologist will be defeated. Never. It can't happen. Get out of my way! 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 You're not going anywhere. Come and pass, let me see you. Papa, you're not going anywhere. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. You're not going anywhere. Come here, I'll push you the same way now. I'll push you the same way. Come here. Don't injure me. Get out of my way, son. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Patrick, you push my son. You must kill me, Patrick. Patrick, you're not going anywhere. If I kill you, your people will not come here. They will not do anything. All the young people must die our voice. Patrick, you are not going anywhere. Let me see you. Okay. Patrick, come and kill me. Patrick, kill me. Patrick, you must give me. 
mess I found myself in. I have no bright future. Anna is probably a medical doctor by now. No, I am not a thief. I cannot be. God forgive me. Ha! Ah, I used to be a good boy. This time around, he wants to kill my daughter, Hannah. Huh. Why do you keep having the same dream all the time? Eh? It is because Ikenna is evil. Hey. He is planning evil against my family. But this time, I will not give him time to succeed. He don't know what that antichrist is capable of doing. That Ikenna is an antichrist. Hey. Otherwise, why do I keep having the same dream of where he's trying to harm my daughter, Anna? Why? No, nothing will happen to our daughter. Huh? I want to think. 
Believe me, nothing will happen to Anna. Nothing will happen to her. Who do I go to? Do I go to the catkins? Or oh, 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 Reverend Father? Which father? Eh? Which catkins? Go and sleep. Friend, I had almost the same dream last night. This time around, I was the target. He nearly killed me. Why do you keep having the same dream all the time? It is a proof that my accusations are true. Now we are talking about dream here. Eh? This is not an ordinary dream. Today, I must do something. Where is he going? Where is he going? Nine! Nine! Nine, where are you going? To? Nine! Accusation in a bomb keta. Say what you want to say, I'm hearing you. Thank you. This is not the first time you have been accusing your brother of being a wizard, wanting to kill your family members. Let me warn you for the last time, you should stop the allegation. Else, as what, Ibazo? As what? If not because you're my older brother, I know what I would have done to you. You think that because I kept quiet, you people killed my only son, that I'm going to keep quiet for my only daughter to go down? You are all liars. Huh? Yes. Chima, how dare you call your brother a wizard? Eh? Have you lost your senses? Have you lost it? Because I have lost it all. I have lost it all. Chima! Chima! What have gotten into you? Eh? Don't we have our own, our own problems? Eh? Have we in any way accuse you of being responsible. Huh? She, my brother, I want you to understand. Just last year, I lost my two sons. Early this year, I lost my wife. Who knows if I will be the next? I don't care if you are going to be the next or not. I don't care whether your sons and daughters have gone down because you are the ones furnishing your daughters and sons. You don't know which you are which, 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 which are the uh, 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 member. You are grandmasters in, in Uke and Amosu, and that is what you do. You every year you you you, you keep donating. Chima, you, are you, 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 you okay? Are you standing normal? Allah is not okay. You are a wizard. Allah is not okay, Chima. Allah is not okay, Chima. How dare you? Let that be, 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 be For this nonsense hey. you have spoken, you will be forced 
to swear before Ibu. You liar! Who must see what I am not going to swear to your secret court, that wizard court, in the name of Ibu. It will not happen. Emo Chaya, Tia Jana Chima. Let me tell you. Chima, 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 let us, let us go. Leave the idiots. Hey! No, 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 I saw your brothers running out of the compound. Yes, because... I hope you did not make your I mistake. made trouble with two of them. They came here to accuse me. They said I will go and swear with you. They want me to come to their wizard court and swear so that they will also be taken. Like they are taking their sons and daughters and like they took my sons. I just do not... Hold on! Is that why you chased them out of the compound? With I would have not know anything. Me, give me, give me. You don't know anything. Those people are capable of killing the whole community. Those two idiots. They are capable of killing the whole community. But it will not happen. It's no good. I will report this matter to the Igwe. God, it's okay. The king will hear this. The king will hear that they were here to kill me in my own house. The king will hear it. Or oh, Ipwazu don't know. Ipwazu don't know that I caught him. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, Ipwazu. I said he knows nothing. Hey. Oh, Ipwazu. I saw that what Ipwazu was holding. Eh? And he started to be a cactus. Or Sibu Or you will not be there. Uh, Shima, this is all of your magic. Shima will never over swap. Nikina, I have not seen this kind of thing before. Ibazu. This is a very big insult. Shima <laughs> huh? must pay for it. In fact, he must. Um, come to think of it, Shima has no right uh, to accuse you of anything. I can never keep quiet on this. I can never. I can never. Um, listen, you can. Eh? We are going to summon him in next meeting, where he will explain his action towards you. He can never run out of it. Never. He can never. Never. That swearing. It's most welcome to you. Listen now, listen what I want to tell you here. We are going to summon him in next meeting where he will explain uh, his action towards you. Uh, For how long am I going to continue living like this? My stepfather forced me into this type of life. Felix, I think you should go back to the house and start school again. God forbid. God forbid. See, I can't go back to that house and live with those people that call themselves my parents. Why? But they are still your parents, no matter what. Eh? I fear if I go back to that house, I might end up becoming very wide. Wide? Why? You see, I watch my father every day beat up my mother. I might lose my temper and do something irreversible to him, like stabbing him to death. Go forbid. You won't do something like that, never. Yes, that's why I'm trying as much as possible to avoid him. But you know that this place is not safe for you. This place is not safe. It's not healthy for you. It's Neither is healthy. in my house. Neither is in my house. See, I'd rather stay here than watch somebody beating my mom. My own mom. Felix, listen, please. This place is no safe. It's no safe. Please, you need to listen to me. I'm trying to tell you something. You can't stay here, please. Please, I'm begging you, please. Shame on you! Shame on you! Neka, shame on you! Shame! Patrick, God will punish you. Huh? God will punish you for being a bad father to my son. It was because of you that boy left this house. Now he's nowhere to be found. Who told you the bastard is nowhere to be found? He has gone to lose. The bastard has gone to look for his father. He cannot live in my house forever. He can never. But he always calls you as father. 
You always identify you as a father. So you don't know any other person. So why are you calling him names? And he obviously got tired of coping with the wrong identity. He has gone to live to look for the right identity. Leave me alone, no. Patrick, what do you say? Patrick, what do you say, Patrick? If you don't leave my cloth, why is What it? are you going to do? Mark, why you are cannot you? do more than anything. I will find your ayo. Yes, you cannot do anything. Green men, they don't fight women. They fight their fellow men. Go outside and fight your fellow men. Patrick. Are, are, you, are you a woman? Yes. Are you a woman, you give me a child. Patrick! How? I, I know where Felix is. You know where Felix yes. is? My son, Rie, yes. had the whole completed building. If you get, you know, never now, because you're a stupid woman. Who is Felix? He should come back to this house. Let me squeeze him out. Stupid person. Juliet, how did you find out about her? I don't know. My father stumbled on him inside the bush where he suspected that Felix must have been beaten by a group of people and left to die. So when they felt like he wasn't breathing, they threw him into the thick bush and left wild animals to feed on him. What a wicked world. Who must have done this to Felix? I think I know who has Leslie did this. You do? Anna, tell you to leave here. Phyllis, it's your mother. Anna, tell you to leave here. Ask her to leave here. Is your mother down? Calm down. Please. I'm going to kill myself. Leave here. Hannah, please do me a favor. Tell her to leave here. Okay, I'll tell her. Calm down first. Listen to her. She needs to tell you something. I don't want to hear anything. Please. I don't want to hear anything. Please, you just calm down. Leave here. Felix, please. Please, I'm begging you. I think you know you're not in good condition. Please, just calm down, okay? It's all 
about choice, yeah. And I'm not going with her. Felix, do you know you have no way to go? I have a place to go. I have a place. And where could that be? The street. What? Felix, you can't do that. What about all the dreams you've shared with me? What about all the things you told me you want to be in the future? What happened to them? I don't want to be any of those things anymore. They came from the street and did this to me. It will only take me being on the street to do to the street what they did to me. Felix, why are you doing this? They have all been arrested. They are all in juvenile detention right now. Please go back with your mother. I'm so sorry. Felix, Felix, Felix. Felix. I can't go back to them until I finally succeed as a man. But is this how I will keep living as a man? Is this how I'm going to make it? I'm trying to understand my dream. My mother came to me last night and asked me to return home. She wasn't looking happy. I remember asking her about my stepfather and she didn't say anything. That's an indication that something is wrong. But how can I even go home? I can't go back home. Wait, if I go back, what happens? Everyone would laugh at me. My friends, my mates. Who knows? Anna is probably a doctor now. And look at me. I'm just here in this village, walking in a motor park. I have to quit this job. I have to stop walking there. I have to go back to school. Do you still remember me? Yes, I do. So, what are you doing here? Please, all it's none of your business. Sorry, I asked. Would you? Please come. Please, I, I'm really sorry I spoke to you that way. But what do you expect from a frustrated man? Um, 
I saw it in you from the first day I met you. Felice, can you follow me to my house? I feel like you're hungry and you need to eat. Huh? Hmm? my mother. I couldn't believe it when you said you were back in the village. You call this place a village? Everything has changed. Things are different and it's a beautiful place. Well, of course. It's natural. You know, it's been 12 years. Oh, 12 years. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, how is Felix? And, uh... Felix is now a shadow of himself. You're joking, right? How can I be joking about this? Felix now work at the park as an abuiru. No, 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 you're kidding me. Of course I can't be kidding you. Okay, do you know his mom is now in jail? Why? <sighs> My sister, the story tired me. Like, <sighs> I Are couldn't... Are you serious? I couldn't even believe it. Wait. Oh God, he's such a good guy. Honestly, I can't say. Who's there? What? Coming. Is it? My excuse me, ma. I need your help. All right, I will join you soon. Right. Um. Duty call. So, I gotta leave you now. We have to leave. Or come back. Or yeah. Stay maybe. A few minutes. Um. Please, ma. We are talking about your true condition here. You and I already know what it requires. The earlier we get it done, the better for us. Thank you so much, Patrick. I'll take it up from there. Boma, it's very important. The intracular pressure you is... You don't have to say all that. Listen, I sincerely appreciate your concern and I totally understand your feelings. But you have to know something. The God that has kept me alive for over 12 years is not tired yet. Ma, I know that. Ma, this is totally wrong. It, it amazes me you are the one saying this. The situation is gradually getting bad. And we can't afford to allow it to get worse, ma. It's Please, worse. I have to do it's something. It's not get worse. It's not get worse. It will never get worse. Don't worry, I'll see Dr. Annie first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah, thank you. Ma. It's okay. Thank Mr. Dominic, right? Yeah, doctor. See, I'm happy. I'm happy that God used you to deliver my wife. You know, when Dr. Annie referred us to you, I never believed this surgery would work out. Is that how bad you rate us? It's not that bad, you, doctor. You know, many gave up on my wife's sight. Well, we simply do our work and God restores sight. Well, I I came to say thank you. You don't have to thank me. I did what I'm supposed to do. That's why I'm here. Right. Um, yes. Don't say no. Thank you, but no. The hospital bill has been cleared. Okay? I can't take any other money from you. 
I know. You just to say thank you. You don't have to thank me. That's the point. It's fine. It's all right. Thank you for trusting us on this. Have a nice day. <laughs> 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 I know you. I admire your hard work. And I love the way you relate to everyone around you. Thank you. Do you work here too? Yes, I do. I came from our Lagos branch. I used to be the head of the tickets over there. Thanks. You don't look happy. Can you share? Well, let's just say I'm just in my feelings. I'm just here thinking about the, the mistakes I made in the past. I saw you and your friends the other day. The three of you had a connection. Young man, have you been spying on me? I'm not. I just observe a lot. <laughs> well, Anna and Juliet, we all used to be friends. Listen, I had a terrible childhood. As a child growing up, I had no support from anyone. I dropped out of school because my parents could not pay for my education. So Anna and Juliet were the ones who remained in school because they obviously had someone to take care of them. And look at me. I ended up in a motor park. Looking for food to eat. That's my story. That's life for you. I have my own story too. My father died. And my uncle took away everything that belongs to my father. And he mismanaged the whole thing. As I'm talking to you now, the young man is as poor as a church has. So I have no reason to fight for what belongs to me. Well, he made it easy for you. Uh, are you telling me? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yes. So, Papa, Mama, this is Chidi, the man I told you about. Mm, my son, you are welcome. Thank you, Mama. My son, I am happy to see you. And I'm particularly happy for my daughter that uh, she has finally found someone she mm -hmm. likes. Eh? Even yeah. to someone the courage to bring him to, uh, to us. <laughs> this is wonderful. Right, okay, I'm also happy. <laughs> I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> Papa. Yeah. But you know I've been very busy with my hospital. Moreover, you taught me that there is time for everything. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, yes. So I think this is the right time. I don't think I know it's the right time to bring my love home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my son, uh, what is your occupation? Oh, um, I'm a doctor and I work uh, directly under her. You are also an eye doctor. Oh yes, madam. I'm an ophthalmologist. 
Doctor. Apono, Puno, I doctor, and Alfata, all the same thing. Eh? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're welcome. Right? Thank you. So, what you're saying is that my daughter is going to be your ogre. Oh, eh? no. <laughs> in essence, He's working under me in the office, but at home, he's the boss. And I'm, oh, I, I work know. under him at home. Oh, you know. Because, Moto Santa Claus, please let her do something. Oh, and let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I'm a whole deal for you. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Oh. You know, after the paper, I will show you around. All right, let me help my mom. I'll get to the Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> So, would you tell me, what are your plans now that you've lost everything? My brother, my plan is to work hard so that I can have my own. I don't want my children to suffer. Never. Are you married? I'm not. But I will someday. I have never thought about marriage. I had it in mind to marry Anna when we were small. But I can't do that now. Uju has fallen in love with me. Are you okay? Hmm? Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Are you probably married someday? Yeah, of course. Yeah. We are friends now. Yes. <laughs> You're my first friend. Oh, yeah? I, I, I was going to ask, what tribe are you? I'm Igbo by tribe. You're Igbo? Yeah. Oh, I'm also Igbo. Are you serious? Uh -huh. <laughs> One nail, Madu. Oh. Eh? Hey, don't worry, eh? Hey, you're not so good friend, nigga, at the time, Oh? You mm do? -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, where do you live? Huh? Where do you live? Um... I wonder. Keiko is sick one. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Let me see. I'll see you later. Hello. 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 My daughter, it is very easy for women who are richer than their husbands to rule over their husbands. Please do not think like that. You really do not know who he actually is. Mama, Chid and I have been seeing each other for the past eight months. It doesn't matter, my daughter. It's a lifetime commitment. You don't have to make any hasty decision, especially when it concerns marriage. You're, you're sounding as if you don't trust my judgment. I trust you, my daughter, but that shouldn't stop us from making the necessary inquiries about you don't him and to... his family. Mm -mm. I totally disagree with you, mother. You don't need to make any inquiries about him. This is a man I love. You think I don't know what's best for me? I trust you, my daughter, but I'm doing this for your own good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. I will discuss with your father to make inquiries about Please his family. Please do not make inquiries about his family. I love him. He loves me, and that's all that matters. You might probably even ask an enemy, and they would give you wrong impression about him. What would you do? No. If you were in his shoe, and someone is sneaking about, asking about you, how would you feel? I would not feel bad, because it's a normal thing. Huh? It's a normal thing. Mama, please, we are here to dish food. Let's forget about this. Biko, 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 bia. <laughs> Huh? No, I, I wanted to ease myself. Okay, give me money now. Huh? Give me money. 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 Oh. My friend is coming back. I know now, but you give me money before you No, go. my friend has money. He's coming back. I know. Just give me money and go. No, I'm not going. I'm going to ease myself. You are going to ease yourself. <coughs> Your friend has gone, right? Give me money and go. No, you don't understand. My friend is coming back to pay. Give me money and go. What about you? It was my people friend. People don't they do me this kind, this kind thing yet. I, I don't understand. My friend eh? is coming you back. Want so you, don't know you want to talk my money. You don't know my friend. You want to talk my sweat. Give me my money and go. Am I 
following you. No, when he was my friend that brought I us know, here. I know, I know it was your friend that brought you here. Just give me my money and go. Simple. Uh -huh. and Madam, Afan, now what did they happen? Can you imagine this stupid girl? You call me a stupid girl? Uh -huh. Are you on with this shop? What is the shop? If they don't mind giving me my money, I'll get out of here. Madam, you don't know me for this. I should get out of here. Yes. Oh, hold on, hold on. I should get out of here. Yes. Alex, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't know me for this part. I know you, but you, you know you're the only people. So as you want to come out today, give me the money. Madam, what kind of this shop? Sorry for the insult, but give me my money. What kind of this shop? Give you one and the gold one. Give my money out. Right. Take care, 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 Okay, go find the woman and be one chop with me. You don't feel chop me, oh. Give me 200. If they own you, come here again. If you come here again, you don't carry my money. If you try this canteen again, eh? I will spot you. I will spot you. That's your head. See? I will spot you. 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 Okay, how about your farm? Uh, but you know the planting season has started. I have to plant now. Hmm? If Why? I don't... Oh, if I don't plant, you know what it I means. don't know anything, Mama. You've been planting since I was a child. You keep telling me the same thing. Mama, listen, you no longer need all those planting to feed. I am here to take care of you, and I'm sure I've been doing that okay, very baby, well. Okay. I, I um, um, my in-law, uh, my in-law. The word, the, 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 someone who will lift this uh, earth and, to, to and Venus. My, leave you, me my in-law, you can come anytime you my want. My mother loves family. Okay. Even no, she won't come week. anytime she wants. No, 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 my love. This weekend, I want you around. All right, this weekend. weekend. If you love me, you have to come. This I, I, will, I will try and come. Uh, please, come. I will please come. come. Please come. Try and come. Mm -hmm. I'll miss you. Daddy, I love you so much. Hey, one naya, one naya. Let me take, let me take my wife. <laughs> let me take my wife. <laughs> All right, um, Papa, take care of yourself, eh? I will, I will call you once we get to town. All right. Papa, I need your man to go. Self done. Self and one year off, my love. Eh? Answer for the phone. Okay, Mama. excited and thrilled my parents were to meet him. Yes. <laughs> hey, well, I'm actually happy for you. Thank you. But you need to be very careful. Don't worry. And you know how it is sometimes, you know. <laughs> Juliet, could you not start, please? I know what you're trying to say that um, I lose myself sometimes when I'm in love, but that was then. Then I didn't have this level of education. Right now, I'm a grown woman. I know better. I can do better. So you have to trust me. Listen, 
the two of us knows that no matter the level of education you have acquired, if you want Momo for love, you will still Momo for love. So what I try to insinuate that I be Momo for love? Uh -huh. Really? Did you just say that to me? Come on, I don't mean to say that. Come here, you're my bestie. See, I just want you to be careful. Because if he dare messes up with you, <laughs> consider him dead. Like, I'll practically kill him. I know who you are. I know what you can do, but don't worry. He's definitely not gonna mess up. He's a good guy. He's a cool dude. And I know he loves me. My mom is a bit skeptical too, asking if um, I'll make inquiries and all of that. But don't worry. You guys have absolutely nothing to worry about. I got this. Okay, well, <laughs> let's just believe. Let's just, let's just hope so. Maybe I take you out for lunch. Yes, lunch. I don't know if I would ever see you. <laughs> it's not like that now. But it's the truth. Why? Why? I'm telling you the truth. Listen. Would you? That's the truth. I'm being honest. Your mother does not like me. Why would you say a thing like that? Why would you even say my mother does not like you? She just wants you to be able to provide for me. I mean, why would a mother watch her only daughter walk into the arms of a man that cannot be able to provide for her? She just wants you to do more, that's all. So this is what you're saying? With the level of my education, you don't expect me to work in an oil company, do you? My mother enjoyed being spoiled. My father gives her virtually everything she wants. That's why she wants you to do more. Would you? I don't understand. Do I look like I'm married to your mother or am I your father? Uh, well, is that rude? Do not, but because you're trying to frustrate me. I'm not trying to frustrate you. What, what do you mean your mother likes being spoiled? So I should go and spoil your mother. Can you just take it easy? Uh, uh, why are you like this now? Why are you like this? This is so hot, wrenching. Do you know those two Kenyan? They say they've changed. I knew they can't completely change like that. Now, hearing that they had to stab and kill the whole family simply because they want money is so disheartening. How can someone be this heartless to, to have wiped out entire family just because he or she wants money or what? How? This is so painful. Juliet, it's so painful. I just pray they rot in the deepest part of the jail. Uh, huh. Well, enough of Peter and Carl. See, I have a gist for you. I hope it's something that will put a smile on my face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, shoot. Ta da! Wait, he proposed? Yeah. No way! Yes, wait. Oh, <laughs> the girl is hitched. Are you oh god? This calls for proper celebration. We're gonna pop champagne. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> thanks, baby. Thanks. Oh, thanks. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm happy too. Uh -huh. Wait. It is so unusual that your husband hasn't stepped into this office. Why do you? Because I know he checks up on you every second. Of course he does, and that's because he'd like to know how the wife is doing. <laughs> God, where no? Don't look at, look at, look at someone who just got hitched. You just got engaged, don't worry. You will join us pretty soon. You are neat already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, it's just that I can't wait to start getting all mixed by my man. You know what I'm saying? But you are neat. <laughs> well, unfortunately, my husband is a bit on that weather, so he didn't come to the office. Oh, too. I see. I'm so sorry. Oh, hey. Hmm? You like the weather, right? Can you do this? No, that's tacky. Oh, I'd yeah. rather do this. <laughs> uh -uh. Your mother is here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mama? Mama? Good <laughs> evening, boy. Uh, How are you? How are you? How are you? I'm How are you? fine. How is your health? Uh, 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 did, you, did you tell her you're not feeling fine? She, she asked. You're such a baby boy. Oh, <laughs> he should not tell me. My own son, my baby boy. And did you greet me? Did you greet me? I did. 
He hug Romo. Uh -huh. Did you hug me? Okay, just hug now, right? Eh? When was the last time you saw me? You are behaving as if you see me every day. Huh? Mama, it's not what you think. Her big old shift to one side. Shift. Shift to one side. Huh? My baby boy, how are you? Eh? Huh? 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 They are not taking care of you at all. Don't worry. Your mother is here. Eh? I will take very good care of you and make sure that you are okay. Okay, hmm? I'll drop the bag inside. Okay. John Wan. Mama, huh? what is this one now? Ah, don't eh? worry. Eh? Why are you shouting at my wife like that? What? Uh, did I shout? Did I shout? Mama, stop now. Uh -uh. You, you, you're just coming and you're, you're making her... She saw me and she did not even welcome me. Did she hug me? Baby, I'm Mama, coming. Mama, Mama. Uh, we are coming inside. Huh? <laughs> uh, and number one, this is your property. You stop. Eh? Stop. 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 What do you mean? It's too early Where did you say that your wife went to? I just told you my wife had an emergency call. That is why she's not home. Stupid emergency. What kind of stupid emergency is that? Eh? That she left early. She cannot even make the breakfast for us before she left. And you are the one making it. Give her a new differ. Did you hear the part I said she had an emergency call? Emergency call means she had an urgent call and she must attend to it. Will you shut up? Shut up! Shut, 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 shut up! Before be, 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 I forget my hand on your ugly face. Are you mad? Are you stupid? How dare you talk back at me? In a way, Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for shouting, but Mama, you know all these things now. Eh? You're a woman like my wife, eh? and I'm a romantic man. You understand? I, I can also prepare something for the house. It doesn't mean anything. Shut up! Shut Mama, you have come again. What do you mean? Eh? What, what, what stupid romantic are you talking about? That you have allowed her to enslave you in your own house. On a messy boy, boy. Mama, in my own house. Yes. This is not my house. Huh? Eh? This house belongs to my wife. I am not the owner of this Shut! House. Stop it. Is this the way I brought you up? Eh? Why can't you make use of your brain? Are you numb? When did all this start? This house belongs to you. You are the man of the house. Oh, oh, by the way, whose name is she answering? Oh, Ralph again. Eh? Um, by the way, Oh, 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 what, what, what is the emergency all about? Oh, uh, uh, my wife went to see her best friend. Her best friend is in Lebok, so she needed her presence. What? Is that the reason she left? Mama, what is this with your... Hi. Why are you always shouting? Eh? This won't... is city. We don't shout like that. You don't shout like that? Yes. Then stop making me shout. Eh? The, 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 the friend is in Lebok. Yes. And she now left us even to prepare breakfast and went. Is she now the doctor to deliver her of the baby? That is why it's called. Hey, is that the reason she left us? That is why it's called emergency. Hey! Mama, stop. I thought that she even lost somebody in her family. Ah. Hey! Hey! Mama, eh? look at what happened. Eh? Eh. Her husband traveled, eh. so she needed my wife's help. Why should you say that? Her husband traveled. That was the only reason she left us and went there. In Aguala! Is this how I brought you up? Who suddenly did you become dumb, senseless, useless, and stupid? Kill Bobby Dork. Mama, you, you slap, you slap me, your son. Shade, and I will slap you again with this my Biancalized hand. I will use it to bless your face if you are stupid. If you, hey, who a boom? Eh? Is this how we are going to stay in this house, Chikero? Huh? I did not raise up a mugu. You have become one! And I have turned you into one! Hey! Idiot! I'm not going to I did not give back to a, 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 a food! Darling, I am on my way to Gillette's house to get some of the baby things she bought already. She has delivered a bouncing baby boy. <laughs> I am super excited. God has blessed my friend. <laughs> yes, but don't miss me too much. I'll be back soon, okay? Bye. God, thank you for safe delivery. What is this boy playing? Oh, 
size for my shoulders much. Mama? Chede. Mama? Chede. Huh? Is it not bedtime yet? You're supposed to be sleeping, so why are you here? Um, where is your wife? Uh, she's not back yet. Jesus Christ! What? Mama, what do you mean, Jesus Christ, what? You mean your wife is not yet back? At this time of the night, look at the time. It's Mama, almost 8 p.m. And a married woman is not yet back to her husband's house. What kind of stupid marriage is that? Uh, huh? Mama, you seem to be forgetting something here. What? Forgetting. This is not your husband's house, okay? So you cannot come all the way from the village to teach my wife how to live in her husband's house. What no nonsense are you talking about? Will you shut up? Shut up! Eh? If you think that I will stand and watch your wife malhandle you in this house, it will not happen. SDAS, your man walk. Oh. Oh, please, just go, go to bed, okay? Go to bed. I will, I will talk to you later. Chief, you see this whole house will not contain the three of us if things are not done the right way. You know what I mean? I will stand here and wait for your wife to come back so that I will give her a piece of my mind. Mama, I said go to bed, okay? I will talk to you later. Please, you can see I'm watching football and this football is very interesting. Okay. If I must go to my room, you will promise me one thing. That as soon as your wife comes back, she will report to me. She will see me. You know what? Madame Let Bianca. her come to my room and see me. Madam Bianca. Do you know my name? Madam Bianca. Uh -huh. She should report to you once she comes back. As soon as she comes back, let her come. It's better Bianca. I'll report to me. Uh, ah, no she doesn't do more sense to me. Ah, okay. Do you know what she's doing? Like, you think here is the village where you go and come back by 6. Even by 12, you still go to work. 12 uh, uh, noon. I don't know why she's just stopping me up and down. Eh? If you stop me too much, you just leave this place. Oh. Good evening, darling. How are you? Are you back? Yes, I am. Um, what is it? Are you okay? You, you're panicking. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, baby, uh, please, don't let my mom know you're back. Okay? Why? Just go straight to our room. I'm sorry. I won't be a slave in my own house. You don't understand. You know how my mom behaves. Okay, just go to the room. I will. I will ask. Why would you want me to do that? Well, you shout to me. Just come. 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 Uju? Yes? I have to start leaving before your mother comes and sees me here. Why are you always afraid of my mother? Don't you know that the more she sees us together, the more she gets comfortable knowing that we are in a relationship? Hmm? Your mother's attitude towards me is not encouraging. She obviously wants you to get married to a rich man. I'm not a rich man, am I? Huh? Mama, welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, you. Good afternoon, Eh? What are you doing here? Would you want? Give her flavor and a member. What is this a flavor doing in this house? Mama, why are you embarrassing my sister now? Shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth. She have warned you that I don't want to see him in this house again. I don't want to see him in this house again. Yeah. Anyway. Stand up! Stand up! What? Dilo, get up. Sorry for your miserable life. See, let me tell you, the next time I will see you in this cupboard, eh? I will hand over to the vigilante. What's this? Mama, what's the meaning of this one now? Mama, what's the meaning of this one now? Mama, I'm not a child, though. I'm not a child. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on? Okay. It's a bad rock. You come back and beat me in this house. Beat yours. If you lose what bring your bad work in my head to my house? You come back and meet me. 
Uju, do you have to follow me? Why are you saying hurtful words to me? Am I not supposed to follow you after the treatment my mother gave you? Listen, I warned you. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. I knew it was going to end like this. I'm sorry. Okay, fine. I take all the blame. Go back to your mother, please. I'm not going anywhere. You see, today, I must follow you to your house. I need to know where you stay in this village. No, you're not coming with me. Go back to your mother. I don't want you to disobey your mother because of me. Oh, please. My mother has had her own time. Ah, uh, this is my own time, please. Ah. Listen, Uju, this is not the way to go about this. Go back home. I don't want you to disobey your mother because of me. I'll say it again. Huh. Why are you always making excuses? Each time I tell you I want to come to your house. Why? It's not what you think. Is what? Listen, if I don't follow you to your house this moment, I will end this whole thing. Prince, are you telling me that this is where you've been sleeping all this while? Yes. And I've been ashamed to show you or tell you. Oh my God. You need to leave this place immediately. I mean, this place is not safe. I've been thinking about getting another place, but I can't afford it. My mother will kill me if she finds out that you live in an uncompleted building. I want to get a better place, but I don't have the money to do that. I can assist you. I can assist you to get a better place. Yes, I will really admit. Baby, my love, my sugar, my world best, my oh, everything. Don't touch me, please. What's wrong? Your mother slapped me and called me a barren woman. I don't know how long I'm expected to endure and take all of this from her. You have to talk to her, else she will leave me with no option than to insult the living daylight out of her. Talk to her. I knew it. You know, my mother has a reason for this, your unhappy mood. I love you. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? It's okay. It's not okay. She can't continue treating me like this. Please, talk to your mother. Right, but you're my wife, okay? You can't. I'm not in that mood, I beg in the name of God, please. I'm sorry. This barren woman needs to be left. You're not a barren woman, my love. You're not. I just came back from work. At least, hug me. Huh? Hey. Sorry. Sorry, can't give you. What? She called you a barren woman? Wait. Is this not the same mother-in-law you told me about how caring and supportive she has always been? I was wrong. Juliet, you are right. I am always easily deceived. And what is your husband saying about this? What would you rather have him say about this? Of course he's not in support of his mother's actions, but you know that woman is so, so, so... Domineering, right? How did you know? Of course, I know people like that are always domineering. But wait, what in heaven's name is she doing in your house? I don't have an answer to that question. She needs to leave that house. She has to leave. My husband wouldn't dare tell her that. So are you going to continue like this in your own house? I wish I know what to do. Unfortunately, I don't. 
Ah, you need to inform your family before this thing gets out of hand. I don't know, you're taking this, you're taking it so lightly. God, I didn't see this coming. Mama, I can tolerate anything from you. But you see this one? Never. I will never accept it. What is your problem? Eh? Why can't you allow I and my wife to live in peace in this house? Why? Why are you stressing us? You see what you asked me to do? I will never do it. I will never do it. What nonsense are you talking about? What has it got to do with what I asked you to do? What I'm saying is that I will never do what you're asking me to do. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what is wrong with you taking in another wife? A second wife? Huh. It's obvious that your current wife is barren. Can't you see? Mama! Mama! Please! Please! For the last time, do not call my wife a barren woman again. The next time you try it, you're leaving my house. Okay? Shut up! I said shut up! Shut it there! I dare you to try it. Try it! You're trying me, Mama. You're trying my patience. You're trying my patience in this house. You're trying my patience. Don't make me to lose it, oh. Do not make me to lose it. Please. Excuse me. I cannot have peace in my own house. What is it? You don't want to go. Allow me to have peace in my house. Let me enjoy my marriage. Did anybody just call me like this? Eh? Why can't you allow me to rest? My wife is this. My wife is that. I don't want to go away. Hi. They have cooked and give to my son. They have cooked and give to my son. Origoya! What exactly do you think I prepare and sell to your son? If not, genuine and own daddy difficult. You can hate me all you want. You can call me a barring woman. But what I won't let you do is bring in another woman into my matrimonial home. Hmm. Mama Chidi, listen and listen attentively. I don't know if your son told you. From the seat you are seated on to the very last pin in this house, I owned them. I worked for them. I practically built this house from scratch to the roof. Your son and I are living here simply because I love him. Yes. So when you think of getting another wife for him, also plan and get an apartment for the so-called wife because I won't let you or allow you bring in any woman into my house. What did you just say? You heard me right. I don't dare me. Like what you are saying. You are sounding as if you are supporting that, that woman to maltreat our daughter. Eh? To make her uncomfortable in her husband's house. Yeah, of course, you know I can't say something like that. I can't. But you have to remember huh. that two wrongs cannot make a right. Eh? There's no way I will go to that place and start fighting that woman and think that I will bring the peace that we are clamoring for. It is not possible. Now you have to go there. Our daughter here is not an orphan. I want that woman to know that she has somebody. You have to go there. There is a man in that house in the name of Chede. Chede has to take decision and stand for it. Eh? If he, the mother continues this way and he, he is paying deaf ear, then he must make choice between my, my daughter and his mother. My daughter will take that to, to, to him. Papa, you don't understand. The mother threatened to bring in another woman into my own house. What? House I built with my heart in mind. No, did you hear her? It's empty threat. Did you hear that? I said it is empty threat. You call it empty threat. This is the reason I will go there myself. Yes. I have to go there myself. I'm not there. They won't try it. Hey! Uh, to bring in another wife. Try it. Mama, mm -hmm. ah, Mama, you're welcome. Thank you. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. 
good to see you. How was your trip? Was so this one stressful? No. Uh, you had a smooth ride. Right? Yes. yes. <laughs> so because you had I am Christopher. That was the reason you came. Did I hear a rat quite right now? Uh, yes, I heard it too. And some incessant flies. It is your mother, your father, and your useless generation that are rats. I am talking to both of you. <laughs> eh? It's a nonsense. Look at what they are doing. Look at them. Now I have to be and keta. See, eh? Before this time tomorrow, I will tell my son to kick you out of this house. Senseless, useless people. <laughs> hey. Well, I didn't expect anything less from a shameless gold digging idiot like you. Listen to me. Your son was, is. And will be nothing without my daughter here. Hmm. My daughter made him what he is. And for your information, if he can tell you the truth, your son doesn't have a life of his own. Ah, shut up! Shut up! I said shut up! What is the meaning of this? I will not have you insult my son in his house. Did you hear me? You, 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 you better go to your son's house. Eh? You know, you know, I this house belongs to my son. In case you don't know, my son is the man of the house. Well, I am not disputing the fact that your son is the man of the house. But for you, don't also dispute the fact that my daughter here is the owner of this house. <laughs> Yes, says by who? she built this house with her money. Says by who? Therefore, eh? I will not have you turn my daughter into a slave in the house she built with her money. Hey. I will not take that from you. Is that what she told you? I will not take that is from you. Is that what she told you? This is my son's house. Get it into your skull. You can go to your own son's house. You know what I go? This and is my son's house. house Belongs to my daughter. Hey. Look at how senseless you are talking. <laughs> I, I Your can daughter. Imagine how senseless you are. Whose name Will is you she? Get answering? out of my sight. Get Whose out. Is she answering? I said, get out eh? of my sight. Don't my son is the man of the house. This house belongs to him. Huh. Eh? Imagine. Huh. Get out here. Useless people is, making is, is noise everywhere. Since you, since you came in, you are making noise. 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 Eh? Eh? Making noise in my son's house. Who won't have this again? I want us to talk. There is something I want to discuss with you, and it's very important. Are you hearing me? Um. All right. <clears throat> Honey, I see, I've been thinking. Your mother's stay in this place is it's making things uncomfortable. Yes. I mean, it's making things rather complicated. Why, my mother? Your mother has been the one who is making things complicated, not my mother. Since you're not strong enough to talk to your mother, to leave us alone so we can enjoy our marriage and our home, I need my mother by my side. Okay? I need my mother by my side. Just the way you feel you need your mother by your side. I can't be here alone. You want your mother to kill me. If you want my mother to leave, tell your mother to leave. So both of them leave. But as long as your mother is here, my mother stays. Baby, you don't understand no, please, what I'm talking please. about. Okay? She can go and come anytime she likes. Yeah. Your mother can also go and come anytime she likes.
<laughs> so, how about the girl you told me you wanted to get married to? Juliet, something told me you would ask this question. Well, her mother thinks I'm not good enough for her. Her mother does not like me. Are you serious? So, where is she now? Please, can we talk about something else? Come on. You want to start hiding something from me, I'm right? I'm not hiding anything from you. Her mother wants her to get married to a rich man. I'm not a rich man. So sorry. Please, have you seen Anna? Oh, Anna. Anna's mother-in-law is something else. Like, she's making that marriage unbearable for both Anna and her husband. She's just... Ah. Then her... Her husband should talk to his mother. Husband, okay. That one. <laughs> he, he cannot even stand his mother's present. Like, he's not... I feel he's not man enough to talk to his mother. So our friend got married to a weekly. Well, I didn't say that. You're the one saying it. Foolish woman like you. No, no, no. Eh? <laughs> Let me tell you. You cannot take my place in this house. Hey. You know, see who is talking. As if you have position here. Do you have any position in this house? Hey. Eh? Listen, I'm allowing you because of one thing. You cannot do anything. You cannot do more than a hanging towel. You know, yeah? I must force my son to send you back to the village. That is where you belong. You You cannot try it. Send me back to the village in my own daughter's house. You man, in what of sense? You don't have Do sense at all. You will yeah. uche. Bet who? Me and you bet. Mona get kuchalo. Did you talk eh? about not Mona get kuchalo. Just imagine Mori this again. senseless idiot calling another senseless. You ma kwenye fina ako. Nobody has shown a cobble cobble. In my daughter's house. In my daughter's house. You go this is my son's house. house. Yes, you can't. I shall cobble cobble. That is you what you who is that shower here. Just take a look at yourself from head to toe. Keep going with the long one with their shower. You are the prostitute here. Look at your shower cobble cobble. You are literally God. You are stupid. God. Senseless and useless. So why could you, what, what will you say? I don't, I don't eh? you. Because you don't know what to say. That is why you're not saying anything. Because I allow you in my daughter's house. You have to you. cook uh, and give it to me. Eat as, as, as without my son. You are, you, 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 you are not going to have a husband. Get out. Eh? Go who will get out? Okay. I must make sure they send you back to the village. Send who back? You. You can't see. You cannot have Just go inside and sit down. I am not going anywhere. Hey, look at this. Oh, yeah, go inside. Me. Go inside and sit down. Who will you say to? I will just forget this my hand on your face. If not for once, I will produce my hand. This my biakalized hand. Muga, forget it on your face. Oh, what in the name? Me too much. 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 Get them a man look who's in for. No problem. So your mother got sentenced to 22 years imprisonment. Come on. But she did all she did out of self-defense. Juliet. One thing I've learned from my mother's story is this. Pray you don't end up with the wrong person. Because my mother is going through that pain now. Um, Mama, you called me. Yes, sit down. My son. I don't know if Hannah, my daughter, delivered my husband's message to you. No, she, she didn't tell me anything. I hope there's no problem. <laughs> well, there's no problem at the moment, uh, but there will <clears throat> soon be a problem if care is not taken. A problem? Yes. In my house? I don't understand. Are you aware that my husband is overprotective about Hannah? I know. 
The worst thing you did is to allow your mother into this house. And also allow your mother to touch my own daughter in her own house. My husband doesn't tolerate such. Are you getting me? I'm getting you. You choose to live with my daughter, not your mother. You paid a bright price, not your mother. You choose to stay with her, not your mother. You married my daughter, not your own mother. I'm afraid if my husband happens to be here, eh, you will find it very difficult. So tell me, what is your greatest fear about the surgery? My greatest fear has been the surgery itself. I hate people don't come out with their sights. That's a lie. You don't have to be scared basically because of what you heard. It is not your portion. If you want anything for yourself, you have to brace up yourself, be bold enough to take the decision and stand by it. Okay? With what you're going through, this surgery will help reduce the intraocular pressure and also reduce the rate of damage to the nerves. You need it to be perfectly okay. Alright? Thank you, Doctor. So, can we proceed? Yes, Doctor. Alright. Wait for me by the reception. I'll join you soon. Thank you. Call my receptionist. Thank you. Have a seat. I guess you're the sister to the patient. Yes, doctor. Okay, it's fine. Um, what really happened yesterday? Doctor, I don't Okay, you know what? Let's see your sister first, then we can talk about it. Okay. So wait for me at the reception. I'll join you pretty soon, okay? Okay, doctor. doctor, please. How was the operation? I hope there were no complications. To the glory of God. It was successful. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. I'll be with you shortly. All right, Mom. Oh, baby. Baby, I'm so, so proud of you, you know. All our staffs are saying that you're gifted. Why would they say that? Oh, it's clear. It's crystal clear. I mean, no surgical oppression in this hospital that is carried out by you has been unsuccessful. Unlike other doctors, including including me. My love, I'm just so blessed to have you. I'm so blessed to have you too. You know, uh, I've been thinking, ever since the establishment of this hospital, every surgical operation that you have overseen has been successful. Even we have checked the records and everything. So I'm, I'm thinking something. Why are you saying that? What are you thinking? Um, are you sure this is not um, God showing us that you may have a reconsider in your um, surgical operation? I'm thinking that since you have had so many successful operations, that means yours can be you know, successful too. Don't you think so? I strongly agree with him, you know. Yeah, because anything that is keeping your eyes from getting completely damaged must be stronger than anything. And it has given you the opportunity to figure out how to go about your surgery. I never knew I would get scared of this. Having to interface the fear of surgical oppression. It's not easy, my friend. Now listen, you can do this, okay? You can do it, just, just make out time, think about it. I assure you, you can do it. That reminds me, Felix came visiting the other day. He did? Yeah, he did. 
he brought some presents for my baby and he asked after you. Oh, that's thoughtful of him. Mm. He's a nice guy. Uh, Mama, this is where I live now. My son, please forgive me. I'm responsible for everything that has happened to you. Please forgive me, oh? It's okay, Mama. Everything will be fine. That man didn't deserve you as a wife. He also did not deserve me as a son. He didn't deserve to be my father. But it's okay. The most important thing is you're back. And I'll do everything to ensure that nothing troubles you again. However, I'm not proud of my childhood. I'm not proud of myself. My friends did not drop out of school like me. They're the ones taking care of me now. And I even promised to get me a house in the city. So, do you want to go? As much as she said it is best for me, I feel it's not time yet. Mama, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is this your friend you talked about? Yes. But her mother married her off to another man. Please. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I tried to stop my mother. But she was so determined to have me marry another man. Please forgive me, please. Stand up. Who's going to sleep with this one? Stand up, John. Stand up. But you, what's wrong now? I'm sleeping now. Why are you disturbing me? Okay, no problem. Sorry about the disturbance. I go back and sleep. Right? I thought you said you're this friend now. now. What is your problem? Allow me to drink my garden in peace now. So you were going to drink this thing without me? Is it your business? Huh? Is it your business? I don't want to, I don't want to fight you. Better drop my diary for me. I'm very, very hungry, man. How is it my business? You said you want to sleep. I go, I go, calm down now. Calm down now. Eh? You said there's no water. Hmm? Where's your water and I'm coming now? But you, wh wh why did you bring one water? What is your problem? Remember, you're in my house. Why did you bring one such a to In my house. Don't give me heat. Ain't I'm heat. If you're, not, if you're not drinking, then leave it. There's no sugar. There's no water. Go and look for water. I go. I put this. Thing. Get water now. What's Listen, your problem? You're the one that. Why did you bring one water? There's, there's, no, water. there's no water here. So let me manage. Yeah? I want to manage. Now you're a hungry man, oh. But today, you know. Huh? I thought you said you want to sleep. So your wife is feeling too big to come and bid me farewell. Eh? Well, she is she's still sleeping. Sleeping? Yes. By this time of the day? Eh? 
Is it not laziness? If I talk, you will say I have said. Eh? So this is the way she runs the hospital and her home. No wonder she allows you to do everything but at home and in the hospital. Baba, can you just leave my wife? Please, leave her alone out of this and go to where you're going. So what do I, Mama, I will um, go. Also, don't forget to um, buy that and ask you to buy for me when you're coming back. Okay, to get the things. Mm. Don't worry. All there right. is no problem. I will bring it. I'll be expecting eh? you. It's okay. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Ah, is Mama still coming back? Eh? Is Mama still coming back? No! She will go there and die. She will die there. Nonsense. When I judge this, Mama still coming back. I'm not coming back. I will die there. No, not me. You. Mama, give me the phone. You're supposed to take me out and you are here. I'm sorry, Mama. Give it to me. Mama, I'm here. I say goodbye to this phone. Mama, I'm now. Say goodbye to the phone. Take me to where I'm going. Open it. It's all about choice, yeah. Come, 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 come. Hey! Don't do that. Come on, open it. Now, eh? Why you come back here now? You don't know so that people market to the block. Are they come now? Have you done the match? Are they come? My friend, hurry up and remove this stupid car here. Are they come? Ah. This car because I can't remember bringing it, uh, putting it there. Oh, obviously, they are. They are. Obviously. Ah. How dare you? Are you mad? Are you stupid? Are you out of your senses? How dare you talk back at me like that? Do you know the other? I'm not talking anything. I'm not talking anything. Who, who put it there? My, my madam asked me to. What is your problem? Eh? Will you get out of here? How dare you interfere in a case that does not concern you? What is your problem? Don't come here and slap people off. Eh? If you interfere in this case again, I will make sure I get you arrested. Eh, mad woman. It is your mother that is a mad woman. Come and get out of here. You, will you get out of here? Put it back in the car. Put it back. Put it! Don't! Look at that! How dare you push it? Go back, go back inside.
Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. My wife has gone to work. Oh, me? I'm off. I'm off today and tomorrow. No problem. Once you come, I will let her know. Let me call you back. Happy with the gate. You can't drive anymore. Why are you driving like that? Close my gate. Since she discovered her bag in the car, she just they slap, slap me, they beat, beat me for market. Just they, the pack, everybody just gathered. They... She, 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 she refused to go. Yeah. Eh? Can you yourself speak? She refused to go. A simple instruction I gave you, you cannot carry it out. Eh? Simple. Let her enter the bus, then give the conductor her bags. Simple thing. Then give them the address. You're telling me she, she refused to go. You fuck, you've messed up everything. You've just messed up everything. Simple instruction, drop her the bag, put her the bus, then give the conductor the bag. Simple. Come on. Are you still there? I told you to bring in my bag and you are still there, standing there like a moron. Uh, eh? Uh-uh. Uh, you want to receive another flight before you can do that? Okay. Is that what you want? No, no problem. I'm talking to him and he's still standing there doing nothing. Charles, Charles, if there's any bag, just bring it. Bring it out. Go on, move! I think you have your bag there. Let, let them bring it in. Just bring the bag. I'm not here. I'm not here. I will teach you the lesson in this house. Why is your face like this? Huh? But she, that woman lied to me about her daughter. Which woman? Uju's mother, the girl I was seeing. She lied her daughter was married. You mean she's not married? Yes, she's not. She lied. She seized Uju's phone and sent her to her other sister's house in the city. Um, I saw her this afternoon and she told me everything. Felice, listen to my advice. Forget about this girl. This girl is not your wife. Forget it's about that easy. And that is a more reason you should let her be. Listen, Felice, they want you. She's not your own. Felix, relax. All you need now is money. You're falling my hand, Mr. You're falling my hand. I don't understand all this. Agnes. 
It's not only about you being my friend. I have my reasons for traveling all the way from my village down here to see you. Um, Bianca. Well, I have discussed this severally with her. Honestly, when Kevin is good, she is not comfortable with this plan at all. Why? What is wrong with her? Does she not know that I have a greater plan for her? Nancy, you have to talk to her. Make her accept this. Time is running out. Eh? I have thought about this whole thing a thousand times. But doesn't this make my daughter look like a second Fidel? It will not make your daughter less human. Even if it makes that. Who cares about it? Uh -uh. I care. Uh -uh. I care. She's not only my daughter, but one child. Mm -hmm. I care now. I, I care, Guam. Listen, Agnes. She will just pretend to be a house killer. With me, dear, before you know it, boom. <laughs> The house becomes hers. She will owe everything. Eh? No, please. Like I said earlier, talk sense into her. Talk sense into her. You got that go? And another thing. Hmm? This whole thing don't seem to be fair to me. Ah, Agnes. Eh? Who is talking about anything being fair or not? Eh? Just look at your house. Eh? Look at how wretched you are. Do you like as you and your daughter eat from hand to mouth? Or be featured? Feature you a zig woman. Eh? And become one of those women that belongs. Look at everywhere. Then look at me. You don't want to enjoy life. Don't you want your daughter to enjoy life? No, I want to. Uh -huh. Think about it. I don't understand. Why did your mother make such an offer to you? She didn't come directly to me. She spoke with my mother. Ah. So what did your mother say? She said I have to go, but I said no. <laughs> People are crazy. I mean, why would she do that to her own daughter-in-law? She said her daughter-in-law is barren, so she just wanted to use the trick to get a second wife for her son. Well, that's unfair. Well, I made it clear to my mother that I cannot go. I can't do that. Felix, I'm so sorry about the lies my mother told you about me. You know I cannot do such a thing to you. It's okay, so when am I seeing you again? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> We'll see you here tomorrow. Right? Yes, same place. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Of your friend. Huh? Eh? Mama, I just told you I went to visit my friend. Hi! Yeah? So, you know, you are still seeing that a flavor. Eh? You are still seeing that boy. Eh? Hi! Oh. Anyway, I've been waiting for you to come back. Eh? To tell you that uh, I have finished finalizing everything with my friend. Eh? She's, you are going to travel with her to the city. Hmm? So you go there, arrange your turn, she will take you. Now, Mama, 
I have said it and I'm saying it again. I'm not part of your arrangement. I'm not going with your friend. Please, you people should just go and look for another person to make that arrangement with, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Oh, you're walking out on me. Nice. But you know what? You're walking out on your mother. Me, I'm walking out on your boy, Lige. She's walking out on me. Who's a wadra? You're not going with her, ma. You're not going with her. Udumwa, Udumwa, come here. Udumwa, come here. I want to find your mother. Udumwa, come here. Help my son. I have told you. You needed to see this girl. She is very, very hardworking and good. You know, your wife leaves very early in the morning and comes back late in the night. And when she comes back, she is tired and goes straight to the bedroom to sleep. You, you go out early and come back late as well. Even though tired, you still do the cooking. You need a house help, my son. I don't want you to suffer all in the name of marriage. See, if you see this girl, even that your proud wife, she will appreciate her. I don't need the house help. And my wife is not complaining. Why must she complain? Eh? On a boala, on a complain. Why must she complain when she does not do anything in the house? Has she not succeeded in domesticating you? I'm only for some follow. I'm all is a problem. I am not complaining. I don't need the house help. Jade, you are not making me proud at all. Eh? What is your problem? <sighs> Why is it that you choose to do things that will break my heart? Why? Can you come mellow again? And what have I done wrong? Tell me. Listen, small boy. I am bringing in the house help for you, whether you like it or not. I don't need your opinion on that. And whatever I said stands. You will not throw her out. Period. Bye. <laughs> no one plays with me, Bianca. Whatever I say stands. I will teach that idiot called herself Hannah a lesson that she will not forget in a lifetime. No one jokes with Bianca. Anna. This is the third eye surgery you're conducting successfully. Is this not telling you anything? Something like what? My friend, you need this surgery just like all the people you've conducted it on. Juliet, thank you so much for your concern, but I would like you to know something. I don't believe in surgeries. Yes, whatever that is in my eyes will definitely disappear someday. Wait. I'm not, I don't understand what you're saying. Is it about your family, the fear for your family? Or is there something I need to know? Buchi. Hmm? I want us to talk about something very important. Mm. Yes. I need a problem. Bochi, it's about to do. Listen, Bochi, you have been my friend. Not just my friend, a very good friend. Bochi, you brought me to your house. Bochi, you gave me shelter. You gave me food to eat. Bochi, I'm here to say thank you. I appreciate everything you have done. There's a saying that goes like this. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Oh, yes. But she thank you so much. But there's one more thing I need you to do for me. Uh, yes. And what is that? But she is about to do. But she, I am no longer a kid. But she, I am no longer a small boy. But she, I know what I want and I want to go for it. But she, I feel like I'm the cause of the attitude Uju, Uju's mother has been giving me. Mm. 
Yes. I, I feel like I've not made my intention known to her. I feel like it is time for me to go and properly tell her I want to marry her daughter. And I want you to go with me. Uh, Uchi, <laughs> why are you laughing now? It's not funny. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. Huh? Hey! <laughs> uh, you're ready to marry. Uchi, I'm ready and I want you to come with me. Good. Nice one. Huh? So, how much have you saved? How much have I saved? Uh, Uchi, I've saved some money now. At least I have 17,500. If I put together that money the driver promised me, the 10,000 naira the driver promised me, it will be 27,500. So, 27,500. You want to buy shawarma for the parents, or you want to buy uh, pure water for them? I don't understand. But you, which one is pure water? I, the normal traditional things now, eh? palm wine, water, cola nut, eh? <laughs> alligator pepper. Alligator pepper in the wagon. I'll buy my wine now. I'll buy the basic things now. I'll buy color nuts. Is that all? <laughs> uh, uh, but let, let, let us start from there now. Huh? Uh. <laughs> you wanted to start from there. Huh? Stop laughing now. What is it now? <laughs> <laughs> eh? You always talk about money, money, money. You see for sale? You see for sale? Hey! Fell is he will not kill me. Lo lover boy. A power money can you? You see for sale? A Love. Baby. My love. I want to tell you something. Okay, I'm all ears. I've made up my mind. You've made up your mind about what? To do what you've always wanted me to do. Are you, are you serious? I'm serious. No, wait, 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 listen, hold on. Like, are you serious right now? I'm very serious. You'll do it. Wow, well, babe, babe, just tell me you're joking. I'm not. You're serious? I've made up my mind. Have I ever said this to you before? No, I'm surprised. So you have to believe me. Wow. Wow, babe, this is, this is the best news ever, okay? I'm so proud of you. And I, I pray God will make it. Successful, yes. I love you. I love you so much. I love you so much. Whoa! Babe, uh, you know what? This calls for celebration, but let's sleep. Tomorrow morning I'll buy you something. Okay. Very special. Long she went to inform her mother that we're here. What is happening? Buchi, exercise some patience. Be patient. Listen, our visit to this place will not be in vain. She's coming. And um, did she tell you that she informed her uncle about our coming? Buchi, they will come. No, now answer my question. They for will me. come. I know what I'm talking about, though. Buchi, they will come. Exercise some patience. Huh? I'm so sorry, you. Uh, eh? uh, I'm sorry for the delay. Uh, my brother, I'm sorry. No, eh? It's okay. Uh, I, I want to go and call my uncles. Uh, meanwhile, my mother is coming. Uh, you're going to your uncles now? Yes, right now. So we should wait for you. Uh, just wait, I'm coming. Eh? Uh, just wait, I'm coming. Hey! Hey! You just left me. Shut the set of Mandy. Take this idiot out of this house. <sighs> Sorry. I'm if sorry. I go inside there and come out there, see here. Oh, granola, 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 gran
Oh, 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 I'm sorry, please, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, please. Please, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please. Please, I'm sorry. What's the meaning of this? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What's the meaning of this? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please. Yeah, why are you not here? Oh, what's going on? Who's going to die me? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Okay. Charles. How are you? Um, hope you kept my luggage in my room the last time. Yes, Mama. Yes. <laughs> Mama, I'm sorry for what happened the last time you came. It's not a pity itself again. I'm sorry. Good to hear you say that. Eh? But make sure you never repeat such. <laughs> no, Mama. No, Mama. Oh, it's not happening like that again. It's not happening. Like hey, hey, Mama, I don't even check her way. I see see that me fuck up. It never will happen again. Hmm? Thank you, Mama. It's okay. Thank you. Um, where is everybody? Ah, today is Madam uh, operation, so she went with Oga. Eh? Hey, so Hannah has finally accepted to go for the surgery. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, Mama. Okay. Hey, you need to pray for her. You understand? Because of the operation. Hmm? Pray for her. For what? Why should I pray for her? Oh, I got it. You are right. Uh, I need to pray for her so that she will have a successful operation. Yes. Eh? yes, yes. <laughs> you are in order. Yes, Mama, thank you, Ma. Uh, thank you. Hey, Mama, <laughs> what do you buy for your boy now? Here, yeah, come in. I remember. I bought something for you. Mama, I trust you. <laughs> I bought you go. Mama. To go. Mama, Mama. <laughs> oh, you're actually waiting for me to give you chewing gum. And yeah, something is wrong with your throat. Eh? Mama, I'm here. I know you are there already, eh? Um, do you still care for the chewing gum? No, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. You know, I, can, I can manage to give <laughs> you this you one. <laughs> here. Go in and change your clothes now. What is your problem? Fuchi, what have I done to that woman? Why does she hate me so much? Felix, it's obvious you are not the kind of man she wants for her daughter. Get it into your head and leave that girl alone. How? How am I supposed to leave her alone just like that? Oh, you're asking me how? Huh? You're asking me how? If you don't know, remain here. I'm going out. Mom. I will have Chidi arrested and I will make sure that Chidi will be thrown into prison for life imprisonment. Why? I am sure I will do that. Why? What happened? Do you know that Hannah has gone for that eye surgery? Who told you? Is that not oh, that Ofeke who calls himself her husband? The idiot called me and told me that Hannah has been admitted and now inside the theater for the eye surgery. Uh, my, nothing will happen to her. Yes, nothing will happen to my daughter. Has she not been doing surgery on other people? Why will her own be different? Uh, stop thinking negative, Biko. Nothing will happen to my daughter. Wait, is this all you have to say? Yes, this is all I have to say. I will make sure that this will become a generation problem. Chidi's generation will finish down on earth. Stop thinking negative. Don't worry. I will think positive. Eh? Now let nothing happen. Then I will start thinking positive. Nothing will happen to her.
My son, what is the problem? Since you came back from the hospital, you have been like this. What happened? Uh -huh. Your... What about your wife? I thought she would be discharged today. Why is she not yet back? Mama, she has lost it. She has lost it. I don't understand. Lost what? Her sight. My wife has lost her sight. Wait, hold on. Are you trying to tell me that Hannah is now blind? Mama, my wife is completely blind. She is blind. She can no longer see things. My wife can no longer see me. She is blind. Totally blind. Hey! I'm finished too. Hey! I'm finished. So Hannah cannot see. She can no longer see. Hey, oh. Chimo! Oh. 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 Hey! God help me. It's okay. Mama, I'm finished. Calm down, my son. It's okay. Mama, my wife can no longer see again. Eh? It's okay. It's okay. How can I cope without her? Eh? How can I do things without her? How? Totally blind. Completely blind. Hey! I know. Nothing will happen to This her. is what you've been saying all along. But I will not rest until I see that my daughter is very, very bouncing in health and in good health for that matter. I am very much aware of what this idiot called Chidi is capable of doing. He wants to kill my daughter and then inherits everything that concerns my daughter. Mm -hmm. But I will not give him time to do that. He can't do that. You know he can't do it. He will not do it until I see. But why has Hannah's husband not called my husband? Eh? Despite the fact that he has been calling him since. I'm beginning to get worried about this whole thing. Honestly. Eh? I'm worried. You are not finished. You can't continue like this. This is not the end of the world. Huh? Your wife is only blind, not dead. Inugo. But what bothers and baffles me is this. She has conducted the same operation on several people and nothing has gone wrong. It's the same operation that she went for. Now this. Ah, Hannah, blind. Tie. She, 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 she knew it. Though. This is bad. Yes. This is bad. As if she knew it. As if she knew she, she never wanted to go through this. 
Now this, eh? how am I going to cope with my wife like that? How? Don't understand me. Don't understand me, Mama. I'm not okay. Don't worry. I'm not okay. Don't worry. Your wife is a strong woman. She will scout through this. Hmm? When? My wife is blind, Mama. Can you just? I can't even imagine, Mama. You want me to leave my husband's house? It's for better, for worse. I can't leave him. I've already accepted my fate. If this is what God truly wants for me, then so be it. It is not going to be the same. Eh? What about your investment? I mean, your hospital. What did you want? No one prays for evil. But when it comes to you, what would you do? You embrace it. Pray for that time to pass. And believe in God. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I've lost my sight, so I can't function properly now as a surgeon or the hospital's consultant. Hence, I've declared my replacement to my staff. Okay. Yes. Your replacement? Yes. And who is your replacement? He's here, my husband. Yes, my husband is my replacement. I know he loves me. I know he would do everything humanly possible to protect everything I've worked hard. I've worked hard to build. But please, forgive him and love him as your son-in-law again. Uh, my my, my in-law, I know you're not happy with me. But I promise you, everything will be fine. Hey! I wept when I saw my daughter. I wept, I saw Hannah. As I saw Hannah, my eyes were filled with tears. Hi! Hey, are you trying to tell me that Hannah has actually gone blind? Mm -hmm. She has not gone blind. Hmm? Have I not been hammering on this issue, but you agitated that I should not keep hammering on it? Yes, I didn't know it would happen like this. Okay. I didn't know it was going to be like this. Now uh, it has I happened know. though. And all the responsibility the hospital has been shifted to that employee. Chidi. No. Chidi is now in charge of everything that my daughter has left us for. No. 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 Oh, we hope for the better, my girl. Oh, it's all happened. No, no, this is a she did. She did make a mere. She did make a mere finally. Finally, she has gotten me in my testicles. Hope you don't come now, Pramo. But she did. Oh, 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 oh,
My son, I am worried about your wife's predicament. Both of you have been married for many years now. She is still unable to give you a child. As if that is not enough, she became blind. I am worried. Worrying yourself about anything is a thing of choice. Yes, you have to choose if you want to be worried or not to be worried. It's a thing of choice. What do you mean by that? Eh? Why are you making me look like a fool in my own concern? How am I trying to make you look foolish? How? Why should you say that? Eh? How can you tell me that worrying about your affairs is a thing of choice? Eh? Of course. Of all things to be worried about, why will I worry myself over the fact that my wife has not put into bed? Why? Mama, there is a whole lot of pressing issues before me, and that is my stress. I'm worried about it and not that. Exactly what I mean. Yes, you have to worry about it. She is now blind upon everything that happens to her lately. Exactly why we should be worried. You know, I'm your son. You're my mother. I know you very well. Can you just tell me what you're trying to say? Eh? Where are you driving at? Uh -huh. Just hit the nail at the head. Good question. I want to travel to the village tomorrow. Okay. And I want you to reconsider my suggestion. What suggestion? Good. Um, come to think of it. Don't you think that Hannah might be cursed? Hmm? Yes. You never can tell. Get yourself a second wife. I am your mother. I will help you. I can help you fix it. After all, you are in charge of her wealth. But wealth without children is worthless. Get yourself a second wife. Please. <laughs> that is why I called you my daughter. Yeah, that is what I wanted to tell you. Mama! Mama! Hey, baby. Mama, how can you be planning such a thing for your own daughter? So, you know what? What you want is to go and marry that mother back down! Agro! Eh? God forbid! Over my dead boy! I will not allow that to happen! Wah! Mama, I like him like that. Eh? You like him like that? Would you? See, let me tell you. You will follow my friend to, a, to her son's house. If you do not follow her to her son's house, eh? Up and worry point. I will just bring poison and die. My mother will be on your head. <sighs> yes, mama. How can you say such a thing? Hey! See, let me tell you. If you just want to try me, eh? Just do that you want to do. Let us see what I will do. And watch me die. I will just die. Then you are, eh? I'm trying to, to, to work out things for your good. You, 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 you are making quacka quacka, you are quacking your head. See, don't worry. Just do what is your mother, watch me die for you. Would you really? You accepted to work as a house help? <laughs> Why are you making it look like it's an abomination? Okay, tell me. Being a house help and being a motor packed house, which is better? Oh, so it has gotten to this, right? Yes. Your mother asked you to say this to me. I knew it was going to get to this point. My friend was right after all. You know what? Good luck. Oh, oh Felix, wait. It's not exactly what you think. I just want to do something meaningful with my life. Something meaningful with your life? And a house help is where to start from, right? It doesn't really matter. I have my plans, though. I just want to start doing something to take my mother's attention away from us. Before she realizes it, it will be too late. Besides, I don't want her to drink poison like she threatened. People will blame me. Are you serious about this? My love, I know exactly what I'm doing. Just trust me. 
Okay, trust me. Everything will be fine. Please now. Are, are, you, are you serious about this? Sir. Uh, I came earlier. Yeah. Uh, you, you now have a house help. This is the first time I'm seeing this girl here. Uh, young lady, who are you and what are you doing in my house? Uh, my name is Uju. Uh, Mama brought me from the village last night. Your mother. My, my mother? Yes, sir. Brought you from the village? Sir. To my house? Yes, sir. Last night? Yes, sir. You mean you, you spent the night in my house? Exactly, sir. And my mother didn't tell me about it. Where is she? I am here. I'm... What Mama? is going on? Mama? Hmm? Who, who is this girl? Ah, <laughs> you mean this Oh, <laughs> the girl. Yes. She's the house helper I told you about. Yes, she's very, very hardworking and industrious. Her name is Uju. Uju. Uju Jureji. <laughs> um, Mama. Eh? This house belongs to my son. Have I introduced him to you? This is my son, Che. I've told you everything about him and the wife. Eh? Yes. Um, you don't have to be afraid of anybody. The house belongs to him. Eh? Go on with your house chores. You know, go. Okay, Mama. Eh, go ahead. Eh, let me help you. Don't go. Eh, do your work. That's what is not difficult. Eh, eh. Just do your work. Okay. Wait. I'm sweeping, sir. Don't sweep here. Just sweep. Leave, leave. Um, um, Mama. You see, I, I swear, I don't know anything about that girl. Uh, I don't know anything. I, I'm just seeing her for the first time. Uh, yes. Um, um, but please, uh, do not tell my wife about this, okay? I will sort it out, I promise you. Where is my daughter? Uh, she is, she's inside. She's inside? Yes. Uh, let me see her first. Okay, but don't tell her anything about it. I will not. All right, I will sort it out, okay? No. Let me, no, no, let me help you with the bag. Uh, be cool. Ah, you're welcome. I'm just seeing her for the first time, I, I, I promise you. And how else do you want me to tell you about it? I remember telling you that you needed a house help in this house. Did I not? Mama, and if you can remember, I told you I don't need any house help in my house. I told you that. How can you go out and possibly bring a total stranger into my house? What is the meaning of this? She is not a total stranger. Her name is Ujo. I know her very well. And I know the mother very well. If I were you, I will make up my mind. I am not making up my mind about anybody. I love my wife, okay? Let her leave my house. She must leave my house today and that is final. She must leave. Chet, you lie. Read my lips. I said you lie. Did you hear that? That girl has come to stay and no one is going to stop her. Mama, please, I am respecting you. Take that girl back wherever you brought her. Please, let her leave this place today. Else there will be war in this house. Let her leave my house today, please. You think it's that simple? Is that what you think? That girl has come to stay in this house and no one, not even you, will stop her. On whose order and in whose house? On my order and in this house. Listen, my son, and listen, well. That girl is not going anywhere. She must stay here. She has come to stay and that is final. I don't care whether you like it or not. She must stay here. Mama, why are you just Excuse too difficult? Me, you are too difficult. Can't you just understand me. something? She can't stay here. You didn't even tell me about her coming. Eh? I'm talking you. are walking out of me. 
Mama! Mama! That girl must leave my house today. She must leave. I'm just respecting you. She must leave my house today. Uh -huh. So, what did your husband say about the house help your mother-in-law brought? My husband is not in support of that. He said the girl should leave. I'm of the opinion she should stay. You've seen my situation. Ever since I got blind, my husband literally does everything by himself. He needs help. We need help. We need someone who can do the house chores and, you know, other things. So, I pleaded with him to allow her stay. Hannah, you have to listen to your husband. Yes. Listen to him. Because the way I saw that girl that very day, I don't think she should be the one you will stay with. Please, let that girl go. Your mother-in-law made a very big mistake by bringing that girl into this house. Huh? And she might be up to something. You never can tell. You don't trust anyone. I understand, but I trust my husband. Chid is a good man. I'm sure he won't do anything stupid. Um, let us stay, Mama. Mm -mm. We need someone around. You don't trust anyone. Please, listen to your husband. Let that game go. No. Ah. How come no one told me about this? My dear, this is the situation I found myself in. No, Anna, this is not your portion. This can never be your portion. So, you mean you can't see me? I can't see you. I've already accepted my fate. God forbid. This is not your fate. So what would you rather have me do? Fight God? Question God? Hmm? So you can't even see me. Welcome, ma. Thank you. Auntie Anna, I'm ready to go to the market. All right. Meet my mother. Okay, ma. Anna, you now have your house help. That's my mother-in-law's handwork. Yes, my husband wanted to send her packing ball. I told him to let her be. Anna, you need to see what that girl has behind you. You need to see what that girl has behind. This is you practically getting a second wife for your husband. No, I asked my husband to allow her to stay. Oh, I know my husband is disciplined, so he wouldn't do anything with it. No. Anna, no. I'm totally against this. Like, I am not in support of this. Ne, oh, what do you want me to do? There's nothing I can do, so let's just, let's just be happy. Hey! I'm, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not in support of this, so you need to see that girl. <laughs> okay. Oh. going on? Uju's phone has been switched off since she left for the city. Felix, what's up? Alpha. No, 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 don't, don't see, don't tell me you are here worrying about that girl again. Don't, that, that I won't take. 
What is your problem? Which I am disturbed. Disturbed about what? I can't reach Uju. Her phone is switched off since she left for the city. That is not your business. She has moved on. Why can't you let her go? Let her go. Let her be. What is your problem? So she lied to me. Felix, the earlier you understand the tricks and the pranks, the better for you. Yeah, sit down. I've watched you closely, and it has come to my notice that you've not done any shots. Why? What? Are you dumb? Are you mad? What do you mean you don't understand? Have you forgotten the reason you are here? Okay, there is no problem. If you have forgotten, I will send you back to the village. If that is what you want. Mama, please take me back to the village. I'm tired of this whole thing. I want to go back, please. Allow me to go back to the village. Mama, if you don't allow me to go to the village, I will tell everybody my mission here. I mean, how can you tell me to snatch a husband from a blind woman that has done nothing to me? Ah, Mama, that's not fair now. Please, I want to go back. I swear to God, eh? If I use this my pianalized hand and slap you, if I forget this, my hand on your face, eh? This your dumb brain will reset back to normal by force. How dare you? How dare you talk to me like that? In Abuala, have you forgotten who I am? Eh? You will tell everyone the reason you are here. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Tell them. Mba, go ahead and tell them. I will send you back to the village. Your mother will drink poison and die. Yes! Just look at her, stupid girl. Come on, talking yellow guy, can you use Huh? Will you get out of my sight? Get out of my sight before I lose it! Eh? Just imagine. I will tell everybody the reason I am here. Trying to threaten me. Bianca! Hey! Let's wait. I thought this girl is intelligent. I took him normal if Hey! So good. Mama. I'm deeply sorry. I just keep feeling this is unfair. And who told you it has anything to do with being fair? Mama, I'm afraid. What do I do? Just be attentive. I keep paying attention to every detail. Slowly, your dreams will materialize. Whenever I am involved, there is always a way. Do you understand? Yes, Mama. Good. We can go. Thank you, Mama. She has 
everything the man needs. your number since <laughs> how are you ah i know you'll be fine and how is my daughter hope she's cooperating well are you serious <laughs> that's good uh, that's good to know ah. so everything is working as planned hi i'm happy oh <laughs> i'm happy ah i am happy please tell her that i come mm. Tell her that I called. <laughs> and do take good care of her. <laughs> thank you. Uh. Hi, thank you. I tell her that I called. Uh, bye. Thank you. Hi, if you stay well, though. Uh, thank you. Bye. <laughs> hey. Uh, hey. God, thank you. Thank you. Eh? As soon as you get pregnant, everything is settled. <laughs> Baby, you like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. You want me to feed you? Yeah, I'm happy. Okay? I'm fine. You're fine? Uh -huh. No, babe, um, oh, this, this, the, the, the spoon just fell. It looks like it's full. Oh, really? Um, the spoon just fell. Are you okay? Yeah, babe, I'm fine. Uh, is that my mother? Um, yes. Yeah, my it's love. really my daughter. Uh -huh. My lawyer here. So let's get your food, right? Uh, don't worry. Are you alright? Yes. Have you eaten? Yes, I've eaten. I, I just came to check on you. Oh, she's I'm fine. I'm with my sweet husband. Yes. Yeah, I know. She's fine. Alright. You sure you don't you don't need so I can just call to get no, you? Don't worry. Okay. 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 Will be fine. Mhm. Mm yeah. Let me feed you. Babe, mm -hmm. are you good? Yeah, I'm alright. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me feed you, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, open your mouth. Is it there? Yeah. Close it. <laughs> Trust me. I got you. Alright. 
Tu kulit suami ya? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's my sugar. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go again. But I'm still munching this one. Alright, baby. This food is delicious. Would you cook very well? Mm. You're not saying anything. Okay, you sure, don't sure. like it? Not as when I'm eating my wife's food. You know, you, mm-hmm. you're the best cook. Mm. So let's just manage this uh, for the meantime. woman nearly caught me. I need to be extremely careful in this house. Hey! Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What were you doing where my daughter and her husband were eating food? Nothing, no. I just served them their food. You just served them their food. Mm-hmm. Turn, let me see. Turn your back. Hey, I'm not even surprised. After all, right from the first time I entered this house, she has never liked me. Start. Ah. Calm down and tell your mother what the problem is. I'm the useless girl, the foolish, the little it. The northern girl you brought from the village tried to seduce me today. That useless ass girl. Really? Wow. Ah, finally. Yes, she tried seducing me in the presence of my wife. Hold, hold on. What do you mean by finally? Oh, don't tell me you have a hand in this. Don't just tell me you have a hand in this. J.D. Sometimes he cannot help but behave like a small child. What do you mean by that? Eh? Is it the way you then bring in a second wife into my house? Is that so? Ah, calm down, J.D. Bring your voice down. I should bring my voice down. They will hear you. I should bring my voice, they will hear me. Meanwhile, you're the biggest shouter here. What is your own door? Now you shout and bring down this house. You try to bring a second wife to my mama, please. Let me just give you this last information. That girl must leave my house this minute. Please. Tell her to leave my house. I will not forgive you if I see that girl here first thing tomorrow morning. Let her leave my house. <laughs> it does not matter whether you forgive me or not. But what I want to tell you is just to relax and enjoy it. Nah. If you bend down, you will see a back. If I if I bend down, I will see a bar. Uh-huh. If I bend down, I will see a bar very well. By the time I'm through with that girl, eh? By the time I'm through with that girl, she will see Umaya. No, she will see Umaya, then you see Nasarawa. You you see Nasarawa and she will see Umaya. Go and want that girl. Go and want that girl. If she tries it next time, she will see Umaya. You will pay Alanya? Eh? Don't you have eyes for good things? Ah! Yes, yes. So, uh, how's your baby? Eh? Ah, okay. Please, when are you going to see Anna again? Anna. 
Yes, I don't know. What? Are you serious? She has gone blind. Ha! How? Oh, so she eventually went for the surgery. Please, please, listen to me. At your convenience, I just find ways so we, we can go and see her. At your convenience, just call me. I, I, want to, I want to see her again. Please, just call me. I'll be expecting your call. Okay, thank you very much. Hi! Any problem? Who was that? Hi! Huh? Who was that? One of my classmates. She had issues with her eyes. I heard she's blind. She has gone blind, yes. What for me? Blind? Oh, God. Hey! This is so sad. I hope her husband is taking good care of her. And if he doesn't, he will do that for him, right? Buchi? Buchi, what is it now? Eh? Buchi, must you joke about everything? <laughs> Let it not be what I'm thinking, no. Let it not be what I'm thinking. Would you stop, Babek? Every time you be joking, joking, yeah, joking. Okay, you must still be joking about everything. <laughs> okay, okay, give me one. I'm proposing you lose. Let it not be what I'm thinking, no. Eh, huh, Felix? <laughs> okay, now. Is that right? Let it not be what I'm thinking. I know why I'm saying all this. She's the only problem I will have. Ooh. Anna's mother. She caught me while I was trying to seduce Chidi. And she threatened to have her eyes on me. That woman said that to you? Yes, Mama. It's okay. You don't have to worry. I will handle that. Okay, Mama. Thank you. One start. Ma? Are you deaf? What type of nonsense are you putting on in my daughter's house? Are you a prostitute? Juliet, take a look at what this girl is putting on in my daughter's house. Look at what she is wearing. Madam, what's Lino? What's what? What is what? Is my son's house, and I brought her here. And so, and so she has the right to put on whatever I gave her permission to wear. Oh yes, hmm. Mama. Are you saying that you gave her the permission to put on this? Look at this thing. Ah, 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 Eh? Mama, this thing you're doing is not fair. Oh. Eh? This, this thing is not fair. Oh. What is this, not this, fair? This, this thing is... This, this, what you're doing is not fair. Oh. Hey, look, let me ask you. Eh? Why is it that you are here always? Can't you stay in your husband's house? Is he chasing you? Let this be the first and last time you will come to this house and talk rubbish. You know, Ria? Hey, what's your name? Hmm? Can you imagine? Mama? I'm sorry to disappoint you. 
You cannot stop me from coming to this house to see Anna. Not even your son can. Yes. Not even your son. See, I've heard your story so. I've heard, I've heard plenty things about you. You cannot stop me from coming to this house. <laughs> Have you forgotten that it's Bianca you are talking to? Eh? If not for one thing, eh? I would have used this my Biancalized hand to bless your face. <laughs> you sound so funny. Mama, each time I come here, I come prepared for you, especially. Uh -huh. Yes, mm. any day you try to raise this your hand, to slap me one, mm. I swear to God, I will slap, I will use slap and scatter your face. You are not trying. You are not trying. You are not trying. Will you fight me? Okay, fight me. Touch me. Fight me. to this house does he know Anna's family hi I hope he will not just tell them everything about me ah. what is the problem ah, nothing ma are you sure? Yes, ma. I saw the way you were looking at that stranger that came with them. Do you know him? Stranger? I don't know them all. Don't know them. <laughs> anyway, there is no problem. Even though if you know him, even if there is any obstacle, I will sort it out for you. Hmm? Okay. Um, just turn around for me. Is she turn? Just turn. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Lepo uku! Lepo no packaging! See packaging! Hey! Ibu gum! This is exactly the type of thing I want for my son! Eh? See packaging! Nki rude! Ngongo azono! How? Lepo uku! Lepo uku! Turn again for me! Hey! You're gonna be my baby, the shakara for me. You're gonna be my son's baby, the shakara. Can you imagine? Even your mother-in-law came and was supporting her, saying that she, she's the one that gave her the right to wear that, those nonsense she's busy wearing in this house. I've told my daughter to throw that girl away, but she insisted that the girl must stay. See, Anna, that girl must leave this house. She must leave it. She cannot stay here because it's teaching time saves nine. Anna, they are both right. From what I have seen so far, this is a clear indication that you might begin to have problems in your marriage if you don't start acting now. Tell her. Thank you so much, Felix, for coming to see me. I truly appreciate it. I was surprised when Juliet told me. I've accepted my fate. My husband is the one handling and managing my hospital now. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I can't believe Uju was the one I saw in that house. But she told me she was going there to work as a house help. Anna's mother-in-law was the one who took her there, probably. Ah. I'm sure she's there to seduce Anna's husband. That means Anna's marriage is in trouble. I have to do something before her marriage crashes. I'm not going to tell Butchi about this. He's going to laugh at me. Hi. 
Ben, is that you? Yes. I love it. How are you? I'm not fine. You're welcome. No, thank you. What is it? What is stressing you? I don't want it to look like I'm nagging or beginning to complain too much. But the truth is, I just don't like the kind of wares your mother is buying for Drew the house help. People are complaining. Why would she buy those kind of clothes for her? Hmm? My love, honestly, I'm tired. In fact, I am frustrated. The woman I call my mother is now a thorn on my flesh. She can't allow me to have peace. I have warned her several. That the next time I see those wares on Uju again, I will get both of them arrested. No, please don't do that. It hasn't gotten to that. Yes, I'm very uncomfortable with that, but at the same time, it hasn't gotten to the extent of you locking anyone up. I don't want you to stress yourself about anything. Okay? I just want to take care of you. I know you're trying. All I want you to do is to talk to your mother so she can buy oh, her more right. reasonable and responsible right. ways. I will do as you just said. All right. Listen, I don't want you to stress yourself about anything else. Okay? I'm always here for you. I love you. I love you too, babe. Thank you. I was knocking at your door last night. Why were you disturbing me at that time of the night? Oh, so you intentionally refused to open the door for me? No problem. Uh, well, I'm here to, to tell you that I have had enough. Enough is enough. You have to warn that your useless gear you got from the village. Would you? Warn her. Let her stop wearing those uh, nonsense skimpy things in my house. Else, the next time she... Else you will do what, Chid? Chid, what will you do? Huh? After you will be accusing your mother of doing nonsense, just ask your wife who the man that came here to see her today is. Juliet brought a man for your wife in this house. Ask her. What did you say? A man came to my house? Mm -mm, a woman. My own house? A man came to this house today looking for your wife. And she wanted to take him to the bedroom. If not that I stopped them. You can ask your wife if you think I'm dying. Darling. Who was the man Juliet brought in here yesterday? Oh, Felix. He's my good friend. Your good friend or your ex-boyfriend? No, darling. Come on. Why are you sounding like that? Felix is an old friend of mine. We attended the same secondary school while also from the same village. Then what was he doing here? Huh? What was he doing here? Please calm down. He came because Juliet told him my current condition. So he simply came to see me and know how I'm doing. Hey, now you listen. And listen real good. I do not want to see that useless boy called Felix, Fidelia, whatever his name is, in this house again. Even that Juliet. Let her respect herself. Okay? I do not want to see any man in this house. I'm understood. I'm understood. Juliet, how is my baby boy doing? You know it's been long since I saw him. Could you please bring him to me? When? All right, I'll be waiting. Okay, bye. I can't wait to see my baby. <laughs> All right. Ah, who's there? Who? Mom? Hannah. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Eh? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Calling your fellow woman. Begging her to bring her baby for you to carry. Are you not a woman? Have you no womb? Huh? What have I done wrong now? Can you just allow me to stay in peace? What have I done wrong to you? 
Hey, shut up! Shut up! Just get pregnant and prove that my son did not marry a fellow man. Eh? I don't even know why my son married from a bewitched family. Please don't say that to me. I don't appreciate it. Let me even ask you, Mama, what exactly do you want from me? Ah, I want children, grandchildren. Eh? Give me grandchildren I will, and I will not disturb you. Oh my God, do you think if it's within my power to give myself a child, I wouldn't have done that a long time ago? You think if it's within my power, I wouldn't have had like four kids by now? Mama, stop doing this to me. I'm a woman like you. I'm not God that gives children. Please, I deserve peace, Mama. Hannah, just give me grandchildren and stop preaching nonsense to me. Eh? Look, let me just give you a candid advice, a motherly advice. Tell your husband to marry a second wife. If that woman gives you at least two kids, you can throw her away and enjoy with your husband and your children. Eh? <laughs> That's the candid advice. I beg you, in the name of God, Mama, do not tell me such nonsense. Please, get out of my sight. Now. <laughs> I should get out of your sight now. Do you have sight? You are just a blind witch. That is what you are. Yes. So, I repeat, get out of my sight. How dare you talk to me like that? What is wrong with you? You slapped me. And I'm slapping you. You slapped me. Did you slap me? Come on. Did you slap me? Hey, you go. What is going on here? What is going on here? Wait, 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 wait. What is it? Is it my daughter? Is it my daughter? Is it my daughter? You are shooting. You are shooting. Okay, you caught your future hands on my daughter. You, you slapped my daughter. Ah! Sunday. That is the reason you are this handsome and cute. How? Odagum? Asawokoma? Eh? How can you call the army and police for your mother? A woman that gloated and betted you. Mbano. You see all these things I'm doing? I am doing it to protect you. It is for your own good. My own good, you say? Yes. For my own good. Eh? And you're fighting everybody in my house. You're fighting everybody in my house and he says it's my own good. Yes, he, I, I don't want them to use your brain. Eh? Him and a mama, they make you to Katuga. A mama, no, no. Mm. Eh? Hey, you see, I am trying to protect you. What are you say? You're trying to protect me by calling my wife a barren woman. Eh? Uh, your, 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 your wife. <laughs> your wife. She has not given birth to any child. Uh huh. Really? You know what, Mama? Of a truth I speak. You must leave my house! You must leave my house! And that is fine now. And you're not just leaving alone. That useless girl you brought from the village, she must leave with you. And she must leave. Don't! Come back here! What did you say? You must leave! Eh?
me, Bianca, leave this house. Never. She goes nowhere. She's going nowhere? Yes. On whose order? Mine, of course. As, as what? Uh, uh, do you need to ask? As the woman that carried you in this room, in this my room, for 12 good months, not 9 months, I nearly died while giving birth to you because I had difficulty giving birth to you. As the woman that raised you very well, even when your useless father left me, abandoned me, and left with a prostitute to Cameroon. He did not even care to know whether I survived with the pregnancy he planted in me. Chidi, you cannot disrespect me. Chidi, I made sure that you lacked nothing. I took care of you all through. Chidi, you cannot disrespect me. Mama. Never. Mama, do not come here and bring up that emotional blackmail here because it is not going to work. Okay? I am living very fine with my wife. Please you. Take this prostitute here. Take her back to the village. Your wife is the You are taking her back to the village. No way. And also, you stay there, remain in the village with her. You're not coming back to this city. Let me enjoy my marriage with my wife. Which marriage? Let me enjoy my marriage Which with my marriage? wife. Which marriage? What is this one? Eh? eh? Marriage to a blind brat. Why be the Is it your business? It's my wife. Okay? I'm going nowhere. You're and going nowhere. going nowhere. Mama, yes, I have said it. You must marry her. Thank God. By fire. By fire. Thank God you are eh? here. She is leaving my house, and that is fine now. You are not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. I will kill you in this house. 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 Mama, I will kill you. I told you I knew exactly what I was doing. In a little while, I'll just leave that place and both of us will be together again. Uju, I'm not a child. I'm here to inform you that Anna is my friend and I won't let anything happen to her. Why are you talking like this? Uju, your mission in that house is to seduce that young man, get pregnant for him, and he will make you his second wife. That is why you accepted your mother's offer. That is why you're there as a house help. Phyllis, you're hurting me. I mean, why are you doing all this to me? Listen, the woman might have her own plan. But I have mine too. No, not after watching you. After watching you dressed the way you did that day. Listen to me. I have no business with you anymore. I am no longer interested in you. Leave that house before it becomes too late. I won't warn you again. Uh, Feliz. Feliz, wait now.
I want to have a word with you. I want to be left alone, Mama. You can't make me your enemy and still expect to enjoy my blessings as your mother. How does that got to do with what I just said? I said I want to be left alone. Um. My son. I just want us to have a mother and son talk. Just give me a few minutes. Let us sort our problems out. Mama, I have no problem with you. Exactly. I have no problem with you at all. <laughs> Did you say you don't have any problem? Are you sure? Yes. The only thing that is disturbing me now, the only thing that is bothering my mind is my family. Exactly. Exactly what I'm talking about. You see, I have come to you before and um, I've talked to you. I understand that you love your wife a lot and you cherish her. Believe me when I say that, I love and respect that too. But that itself is not enough. Sometimes we have to go extra miles. We have to do some other things in order to make sure we get solution to whatever our problems is. How do you mean? Good. I want you to understand that I have interest in your wife. Even when I advised you to take a second wife, I respect her. Even the wise man says that a second hand always helps. If you check it out, our hands are too. Our eyes even our legs. What am I trying to say here? You and your wife have tried your best all these years. But most of the times, our best are not good enough. That is the reason I advised you to take a second wife. Yes. For procreation's sake, No problem. Even if you don't want to, if you insist on not heeding my advice and seeing things from my own perspective, good. I will still respect your choice and decision. I have heard my view. I rest my case. left alone. What have I done? Mm. Eh? Chidi, you have changed. You don't talk to me anymore. You no longer bond with me. We no longer have family or couple time. The only time you talk to me is when you want to yell at me or blame me for something I know nothing about. What is it? Why are you acting strange? How can you know what you did? How can you know? You're obviously blind. You're a blind woman. I said, don't touch me. Chidi, did you just call me a blind woman? You're a blind woman. Are you, are you seeing? Chidi, regardless of my condition, I still do not deserve this from you. You know what? Let me just leave this place for you. Uh, we're, okay, even if you don't want to touch me, come and lie down now. Oh, 
International. She do, she do. <laughs> so all you have to do now, just sit up. Let's go somewhere so you can chill out yourself. I know, I know. You but understand? I, I can't, I can't go out, man. You know, I'm a busy man. I have work that I'm doing. And you're looking like a dead man alive. My guy, stand up for that place. Let's go somewhere so you can chill out and watch some fishes twerking on the stone. Fishes? Yes. Twerking? On the stone, you know what I mean. You understand? Some fishes, you know. I'm waiting in my car. Fred. Don't keep me waiting. Fred. Don't keep me waiting. Hey. Make it snappy. My man. Hey, my, my man. This is my, this my own serious friend. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. This is my own serious friend is back. Fred. Hey. This guy. Wait. What am I doing? Um. Fred, hold on, hold on. Let me go. Oh, I understand you 100%. You see why I'm taking my time? Marriage is not easy. It comes with a little crazy of shit. Just take a look at yourself. Fred, how do I look? You look like a ghost. If this is what marriage is all about. Or but make I day my day. Listen. Everybody goes through one thing or the other in life. Okay? Not just a marriage, even a relationship. The truth is that you just want to be alone. You don't want to mingle yourself with women. You just want to be a single man for the rest of your life. Enjoy yourself all alone. Thank you very much. You know me. But marriage comes with unnecessary responsibilities. From your family members, your wife, your mother-in-law, even your own mother. I'm not ready for that shit. Uh, talking about my mom, she has been a major shortcoming in my house. Wait, do you still stay with your mother and your wife? She stays with me. And, and she also... I understand my mother, I understand. I know your mother. I know what she's capable of doing. Let's go clubbing tonight. Clubbing? Yes. Fred, aren't you forgetting something? What? I'm a married man. <laughs> and where is it written in the Bible that a married man can go to club? Come on, let's go to club so you can enjoy yourself. I'm not a bad friend. I'm just trying to make my friend happy. Whew. Yeah. Go. Oh. Darling, is that you? No, it's me. I'm the one, my dear. Yeah. So my husband is not yet back. He's not back yet. Did he tell you he will travel or go somewhere after work? Because his phone is still switched off. No, he didn't. Hey, where will he be? I don't know. He has changed. My husband has changed so much. Yes, I've noticed it. I've noticed the change in his behavior. Oh God. Oh, leave me alone, bro. I want to. Hooray, bro! <laughs> oh man! All I was getting Dorime, Dorime, Dorime everywhere. See, my guy don't do it. Yeah. He has a light brain. Yes. Uh, Take good care of him, okay? You have nothing to be afraid of. I trust you. All right now, good night. Good night. Fred, you're a bad boy. Fred, you ordered caskets. Whoa! Dorime, Dorime, Dorime. What a night. Oh my God. What a night. 
what the day. Oh, Fred, Fred, please. I am not ready to go to club again. I am tired, bro. Oh, 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 Fred. Oh, shit, Fred. I told you. I don't want to go. I'm married. Oh. Oh, Fred, Fred, let's just leave this club in tonight. Oh, my God. Fred. Oh, Fred. Fred, you're just a bad place. I know that right from time. Uh, what? Fred. Uh, who are you? Fred. Why did you turn to a woman? Oh. What's going on here? Fred. Oh, oh wait, this is gay shit. Oh, oh shit. Stop. Fred. Oh, God. What am I saying? Fred, you look like a woman now. I kept you company last night, courtesy of your friend Fred. Fred? Fred set me up? He did not. You were drunk, so I kept you company. And I must say, you're really good in bed. Ah! You, you, you slept with me? Eh? I did, did not. Did you sleep with me? Stop behaving like a kid. We had fun. Yeah, we had fun. Listen, 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 listen. I, I'm a married man, okay? I'm a married man. You have to stop this right now, okay? Please, we didn't do anything. Hey, calm down. Please, can you just stop? Please stop. I said I'm a married man. Can't you see my ring? I'm married. You think you said, oh goodness. Can you just stop? Please. Fred! Yes, my phone. Let me call Fred. Fred! Stop, stop. It's okay. Fred! Jiri, what is wrong with you? Hey, what is wrong with you? You need this thing once in a lifetime. Fred, are you are you blind? Eh? Don't you know I'm a married man? I'm a married man. Married man, my foot. Listen, have you asked yourself this question? Why some married men die so quickly? My man, don't allow your family wrong you. You need to run your family. Men who allow their family wrong them, die quickly. Make your inquiries. So are you glorifying and encouraging cheating in marriage? Is that what you're doing? Chidi, I'm not telling you to cheat on your wife. What you should avoid is getting a second wife. Do you know the problem? Right? You don't understand me. My phone here has been switched off since last night. I cannot communicate with my wife. What will I tell her when I get home? It's okay. Eh? Listen, okay, listen. Calm down, it's okay. Don't worry, I'll handle that. I'll tell you what to tell her. You handle what? Who will you handle? What, what, what am I going to tell her? I slept at. I said it's okay. You know they do this way, they do it. Don't pass this thing. Once you know that, you enjoy yourself. Rico, take me to my office, okay? Let me take my car. It's okay. Please, I'm not going with you to club again. Just take me to the office. Let me take my car. That's, the That's all. Open your car, Rico. Ah. Open this car, let me leave here. I'm disappointed in you. I'm not a sinner. You're a sinner. I'll leave you. Open this car. Why is she not picking up? Why is Uju not picking up? Huh? She's still not picking up. Do I just go in there and tell Anna everything? Maybe I should go in there and tell Anna everything. I'll just keep trying.
What are you doing here and who are you looking for? Sir, I said, who are you looking for? You're standing in front of my gate. Uh, uh, th this must be the wrong house. Leave. Can you hear me? Exactly, are you coming from? Is that the proper way to welcome your husband? You, you can't be treating me like this. I'm not a piece of trash. You left here yesterday for work. You didn't come back. You didn't even have the decency to send a text message to let me know your whereabouts. You kept me awake and worried all through the night. Well, okay. if you must know, I went to see my mistress. You said she sent me a text message. How do you see when you're a blind woman? Okay, you should have sent the message to my mother. She could have read it. My family just shut up! Shut up your mouth! You're a blind woman. Do you want to be a talkative as well? Can't you just close your mouth? Chibi. Must you always talk? I'm blind, but my emotions are not blind. You can't be treating me this way. Please, just hold it there. Please. Outside there, I'll just be uh, uh, frustrated. I'll come back here instead of me to have peace. The same noise up, up, up and down. What is it? Can't a brother man rest? I, I, I still need to know where you're coming from. I still need you to tell me the truth. Where exactly are you coming from? continue to stay here. Eh? You have to go to bed. Oh? Yake na bola. Enugo. Enne. I said go to bed. You can't continue to be here. But let me wait for my husband. Let me wait for some time. I'll go. I've not even had my shower. I'll just go. Hey, staying here will not change anything. Please. 
Mama. What is it that you want to tell me? Mama. I called you so we can have this discussion because my heart aches. I'm not pleased with the way things are going in my home. I remember vividly the first day Chidi and I came to your house. You spoke to me with so much love and compassion. You told me you would do everything as a mother to make sure I enjoy my marriage and to also make sure he doesn't cheat on me. Are you saying that my son is now a cheat? Or if you're not Mama, that's not what I'm insinuating. But you know the truth. I'm not enjoying my marriage. I wouldn't say my marriage is great right now because of the way things are going. Chidi keeps late night. He wouldn't even give me proper explanation of where he's coming from or why he would have to stay till 12 a.m. Sometimes he doesn't even come back till morning. And if I ask him, he will yell at me, shout at me, say all manner of tasteful and awful words to me. Mama, it is painful. Please, I called you because I know how much he loves and respects you. He's your son. I want you to advise him. I want you to talk to him. Please. I love him. And that's why we're in this together. And I've done everything to make sure this works. It's left for him to play his part. Advise him, Mama. Be good. Hi. Hmm. First of all, I will start by telling you that you are very, very stupid. You are stupid, senseless, and useless. Mama. Yes, you are. And stop mamaring me. So, suddenly, you want me to interfere in your marriage. Eh? All of a sudden, you now need my advice. I thought your mother is your best advisor. Why then do you want me now? Eh eh, shut up, shut up, oh dear, hold it. So what makes you think that my son will not go after other women? Yeah. Yes, it is time for him to enjoy himself. Do you know the mental pressure he goes through because of uh, the mistake he made by marrying a blind and barren woman? Eh? Imaro, you don't know. Ah. You should be thankful to my son and to me also that he, he sticks with you. Other men would have divorced you long ago. Hannah, you are very, very ungrateful. Afunu Bemudi Madu the ungrateful as you are. Mama, you're the one who's ungrateful. Eh? Yes. It is you. I'm more of you. I don't want to manage. I don't want to, I want to be peaceful in my marriage. This discussion is over. Oh, where is my seat? <laughs> Have you not made up your mind to leave this house? It's none of your business. Yes, it's none of your business. Besides, you said it's all over between us. So why can't you let me be? I told you something. I said Anna is my friend. And as long as her safety is concerned, I'll keep my eyes on this house. You know what? I'm not leaving here anytime soon. So do your worst. Would you? Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay then. I'll speak to Anna. Good for you. Watch your back. Anna, 
now, what is wrong with you? You're crying. I've done everything I could for Chidi and his mother. I've done everything within my past to make them happy. Why are they treating me like this? Do I really deserve this? Do I? Oh, my friend, you don't deserve any of these treatments they give to you. You and I know how much you love Chidi and his family. But it, it's quite unfortunate that the, the feeling is not mutual. See, you, you deserve better. I know. The question now is, what do I do? Can you hear me? What do I do right now? I'm confused. And I think I know what you should do. She didn't came into your life with nothing. You made Chidi whatsoever he is today. Now I want you to kick him out the same way he came. Divorce Chidi. Divorce Chidi for crying out loud. Divorce him. Divorce him. I can't I can bear to see you like this. I can't even stand it. Um, madam. How is your wife, Dr. Ted? She's she's fine. And I will I will see you. Will see you. Hey! Man. To Japan, I just came in last week. <laughs> Fred, uh -huh. my man, I called your number. I kept calling your number. I'm so sorry. I changed my number immediately. I traveled. I'm sorry. <gasps> okay, Fred, oh, oh, my Fred, <laughs> then I've missed you. Hi, I'm going out. Come on, enter the car. Let's go and chill out. Fred, I called uh, your number. No, I changed my number. I kept calling your number. <laughs> I even saw one, one woman that looked like your mom. Hey. I'm so sorry, Dr. Anna. It's been tight for me. I barely have time for myself. Hmm? You don't have to apologize. You're a very nice person, Dr. Anna. You're one person I know loves me genuinely. I consider you family. Yes. 
I almost did not know what to say. But trust me, I understand you perfectly. I know what you are going through. I've accepted my fate. The most important thing is, I'm beginning to learn how to do some things on my own. At least I can move around. And gradually like that, I'm accepting what I can change. What do we have here? Dr. Annie. Wow. Dr. Chibi, you're welcome. Yeah, good to see you. You came to see my wife? Yes. My beautiful wife. My love, you're back. My love. How are you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. hope you're good. Yes. Look at my beautiful baby. Looking good. Have you taken anything? Like drink or something? Oh, you're fine? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, what happened? Why did you leave your office this early? Oh, yes. I came to spend some quality time with my wife. That's so unusual. Oh baby, I'm just here for you now. You know I love you so much. Mm. I've been thinking about you all day and I said, let me come and see my wife. At least spend some time with her. I love you so much, baby. Mm. I'll be back, eh? All right. Uh, Dr. Annie, yeah, you good? Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, I love my wife so much, eh? I'll be back. Yeah. What is going on? This is strange. I've never seen my husband this excited for a very long time now. Why do you say so? Because he's happy. Look at the way he was just kissing me, mesmerizing me, you know, calling me my love and all of that. That's not him. Moreover, he came back early to spend time with him. That's so unusual. So why the sudden change? I don't know. If I know the reason he's this excited, I promise I will do it always. Because I love my husband and I want the best for us. Really? Mm hmm I can't see it. We were just... <laughs> I love love. <laughs> really? <laughs> Fredo. Mm, my man. Oh, more, don't finish me today. Oh. My brother, I never finish you. Huh? Here, we go another joint. Another joint? Yes, sir. Oh. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Fredo, listen. We haven't seen in years. Yes, I understand. And today, that you have seen me, don't kill me. Yes. <laughs> don't worry. Don't kill me. <laughs> Very soon, my story will change for good. Are you serious? Yes. Fredo, link me up now. I'm your guy, link me up now. <laughs> no Show me the way me. now. You know my man, you know my man. Listen, eh? yes, this is my friend. Uh. Whose wife owns a very big hospital. Okay. Unfortunately for her, she lost her sight and handed her hospital management to her husband, my guy. Hey, that's a very sad story. Sad story for her, but a very good story for me. Eh. And my friend. Because every arrangement has been made on ground to sell her hospital and two other companies. Wow. Yes. This lady must be very, very rich. Oh. A very rich woman. She's very rich. Don't worry, I'll give the fridges later. You know my man now. I'll carry her along. No worries. Fredo! Oh, my man. Eh? <laughs> Fredo, Fredo! I got you today, brother. Don't worry. Dr. Annie. Yes, my dear. You said there's something you wanted to tell me. Yes, but I do not think it's really necessary anymore. It is necessary. I insist. Go on and tell me. Well, I was thinking uh, you should kind of have eyes on your husband. It's obvious he's cheating on you. Uh, but I'm not surprised. I sensed he's cheating on me because the way he's been behaving lately, a faithful man doesn't behave like that. Honestly, you do not deserve this. Your husband is... Your husband is what? Why don't you finish up the statement? Eh? Your mates are in their grandchild's house looking after their grandchildren. But no, you are here gossiping against my son. Huh? Are you not stupid? Don't you have work? Mama, please do not embarrass my guest. I beg you in the name of God. Guest? Which guest are you talking about? Dr. Anne is my guest. This old witch sitting down here gossiping against my own son in his house before i use this my biancalized hand and grace your face you have moved out from here get out get up and get out mama mama you're embarrassing my guest i don't like it huh? I, don't, I don't like Aya, it Aya, don't get don't out like don't worry yourself just peacefully move out i'll be okay we'll talk about this one 
Doctor, you want me to? You want me to give me? Get out. Mama, I don't appreciate this. Eh? I sincerely do not appreciate it. Oh, please, I have so much respect for you, but you're making me to lose it. Lose what? Eh? What is it that you don't appreciate? To gossip against my son, my own son, in his house? You don't talk, you will lose. Lose what? What are you looking for? Not even see what I'm doing. So Juliet, I came to see you because I can't go directly to Anna and start asking her these questions. <laughs> Are you in any way talking about her husband's promiscuous lifestyle? Come on, Anna is so used to it. But I don't know why she has failed to listen to me. I've told her a good number of times to file for a divorce. But she wouldn't listen. Well, that's not why I'm here. I'm here to inform you that Anna's hospital is about to be sold. What? Is that a joke or something? It's not a joke. Well, I heard from the horse's mouth. Apparently, a friend of mine who happens to be her husband's friend told me. Are you serious? Oh, God. What is wrong with Chidi? That guy is such a heartless and... Oh my God, that guy is such a heartless soul. What is wrong with him? Anna's gone through a lot. We need to stop them. Ah, God. Who is there? Oh, Lily. Ah, you're already eating. Mm -hmm. I was looking for the food in the diner. Mm. Uh. <laughs> I took it myself. How is it? You like it? Mm -hmm. uh, um.
This is the ninth time my husband is sleeping out. It's obvious that he's truly up to something. After all, I'm now blind. What is he doing with a blind woman? I think Juliet is right after all. Chide is a beast. Blackmail. Eh? This is blackmail, right? Fine. Would you pack whatever you have here? You are leaving my house today. You are leaving this house today. I'm not leaving this house. You're talking back at me? Are you talking back at me, your boss? You slept with your boss. You slept with me. You slept with your boss. You slept with me. You saw my nakedness. You saw my own nakedness. Where's my boxers? Oh, oh, oh where's my pants? Hey, this guy's missed me. Where's my boxers? Where's my pants? Wasting time. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Good morning. Good morning. Wait. Are you not the same man? This blind harlot brought home last time. Oh, Brog. What are you doing here? What are you doing here again? Uh, I'm Alfred. Hey, what up? Oh, you. Oh, I know you. Yeah, you are the same man I saw at my gate some, some time ago. Yeah, he's my friend. He's a friend? Yes. This man? Yes, my friend. Ah, but there's no time I want you to go. Okay, uh, yeah. Ma? I want to have a word with you. Ma, that word can wait when I come back, eh? There is something I want to do. Very important. Yes, I have to go now. I thought you said, is, is he coming with us? No, 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 he's not coming with us. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, let's go. This man looks strange. I'll be back. 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 This is the beginning of the story. Ah! Oh. Let me down it. Are you 
taking me to my office? Yes. Okay. Take me straight to my seat. Charles, yeah, call Dr. Annie for me. Quickly. Okay, okay. Oh, Dr. Hannah. Dr. Annie. My dear, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, are you? Is there something I'd like to find out from you? Is it true that my husband hasn't been coming to the office? Oh, yes, my dear. Things are falling apart here. The management is something else these days. I said I would call you on the phone, but thank God you are here. Ah. Thank you. There's something I would like to discuss with you, but it's a top secret. I'm all Are you serious? Anna has to hear this immediately. Juliet, you can't have this conversation in Anna's house. Of course. I think we'll have to go to the hospital because she should be in the office by now. Okay. Have to give me a few minutes. Let me in a second so we can have come to problem. Pregnant. <laughs> Mama? Hmm? So you know about it? Oh yes. The pregnancy. <laughs> you got her pregnant three weeks ago after you raped her. Is that what you told her? Uh, you have about my son. I'm very proud of you. You have proven that you are a man. A real man for that matter. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mama, he's so strong. <laughs> Mama? Mama, please. Please, I beg you. I'm a married man. Okay? I don't want anything to disturb or scatter my family. Down this useless girl. Take her to the hospital. Let her terminate this nonsense she's carried inside her. Let her terminate it. And after that, take her to the village where you brought her from. What kind of stupid statement is that? How do you think I will support such evil? He talked about being married. Married to who? That blind brat, Mbana. You see, the child in her womb. It's my grandson. Mama, she has my to, grandson. She has to terminate this baby. She has to do that. Eh? Please. She has to terminate this baby. You have to terminate this baby. Terminate you have to what? terminate it. Leave, and after that, you leave my house. Eh? You must leave my house. Uh -uh. She's going nowhere. She must terminate that baby. The my house. child in this womb, the child in her womb, is my grandson. My grandchild. Yes. I've waited for a long time for this. Yes. And you want me to you want her to terminate it. Nem, please let us do it. <laughs> I'm From now on, we will not do anything with this. My baby has started crying. <laughs> <laughs> crying in the womb. He's Why are you doing this to me? Huh? Why, why are you doing this to me? Mama, what? She Are you 
Chidi! Chidi, you need to calm down. Calm down, my man. Every time, say I should calm down. Every time, calm down. Is that the only thing you have to say? Fred, do you know what I am going through in my house? My mother is now a major threat in my family. And you're telling me to calm down? Listen, this shouldn't be an issue to you. Come on, this lady is pregnant for you. Make her your second wife. And your wife is blind. Let's face the fact here. Are you out of your mind? I am not out of my mind. Listen, how long have you been married to this lady? No issues. Now you have somebody that is pregnant for you? Come on, this is an opportunity for you. So, uh, wait, Chidi, are you indirectly telling me to marry that local girl, make her my second wife, that local useless girl? She's local, but she's pregnant for you. What about that classic one? Blind, no issues. Come on, let's face the fact here. This is an opportunity for you, my man. I'm finished. Grab this. Yeah? Let's do I can't listen. You're my best friend. Yes, yes, yes. Both of them are in your office now. I follow them. Listen, you have to notify Dr. Annie. Those men must be monitored. I, I have to leave here now. I don't want them to know I'm here. I don't want them to see me. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. If this is the last thing I'll do for Anna, I don't mind using the last drop of my blood. Fredo, I'm, I'm fine. See, Fredo, I, I can't find the papers. I can't find it. My friend, don't play pranks with me. The deal is already done. Just get the papers and they will make payment immediately. I'm not joking. I'm not playing anything. I, I told I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Okay, take it easy. Relax. Relax. You will find them since you're sure you kept it there. Oh, my goodness. You see, I'm thinking someone must have entered my office because I kept it here and I saw it the other time. So why, why can't I see it now? Eh? Do not joke with me, Shady. I cannot be fooled at this moment. I know how much I've spent getting this deal ready. Get the papers now. Oh, they are all locked. L listen, uh, Fred, I can't lie to you, okay? I need this thing more than you. So what are you saying? Uh, uh, you have to end this call now, okay? Let me, let me answer my wife. I asked him to come with his friend. I've also called Papa. He will soon be here. You also invited your father? Yes, because I want my father to be here and witness everything. Ah. <laughs> Give them the good news. Before my mekwalo. Auntie Anna, I'm pregnant for your husband. You are what? Ah-ah. Uh -uh. You had her very well. Or have you suddenly become deaf? What your daughter cannot give to my son, <laughs> she has it in her womb. You're pregnant for my husband? Yes, she is. Mama, you planned all this. I don't know why you're so cold-hearted. What have I done to you, Mama? Why are you treating me this way? Why? Hey, shut up. I said shut up. Shut it, dear. Eh? Your husband raped her, and as a result, she got pregnant. Eh? And I know you know what it means. Mama, the baby is kicking. It is kicking. It is a kicking. It is kicking. And I heard it say, "Don't push me. Don't push, push me." <laughs> Mama. Eh? Bedtime. Yes, you are fertility. <laughs> no, let me listen to the heart Mama. beat. Mama. <laughs> Mama. 
You didn't hear the baby yes, running around. You know, I'm trying to kick it in there. It's even fucking bad to death. <laughs> baby, hey, hey, hey. Oh, she cannot see who she cannot see. <laughs> Shady, you haven't told me why your wife wanted to see the baby first. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know why she wants to see us. She just called me that I, I, I should come with you. I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking what's what the matter with it. You know we don't have much time. We need these papers first. Yes, we need the papers. We need it. I need it. We need these papers. But I'm thinking something. Eh? If that useless girl that calls herself, would you, finally tells my wife that she's pregnant for me, eh? I will kill her myself today. I will kill her myself. Let's just go. Let's go. What's the meaning of this? It, it, it cost all this. It cost all this. Let's go straight. Come stop blaming me. Stop blaming me about this. Bianca, how can you be this way? You were the one who brought this earthquake. This harrowed into my daughter's house to destroy her home. I said, shut up. Ha! She is not a harlot. That your daughter is. Look at her boyfriend standing close to her. Just look at how they are standing. Eh? I don't want to talk to you, Father. What is going on here? Felix, what are you doing here? I invited him here. Do you have a problem with that? So, thank you, everyone. We've come to the end of the story. And it's time to know who the bad actor is and who the good actor is. And reward everyone accordingly. And just what are you talking about? What I'm talking about, my father, is that I am not blind. Hey! My face. Huh? Hey, what? Are you serious? Hold on. Is this a kind of joke or something? It is not a joke. I can see you clearly. You're wearing a strapped t-shirt. You are not fair. She can see you. Idiot! She can see you very well. Yes, she's seeing you. Oh no, forget. So it all started when I noticed how selfish and slimy my husband is becoming. Considering the fact that his mother never liked me. So I decided to play this prank to know if my husband is who I thought he is. Thank you. Unfortunately for me, he's not anywhere close to the man I want to be around. I planted a camera. Mm -hmm. Yes. I saw them, <laughs> I can't even say everything I saw in this house, but I saw everything, everything. This thing here connived with my mother-in-law to poison me. Unfortunately for them, I saw them and I didn't eat the food. I have everything recorded, so you can't deny it. Felix uncovered my husband and his friend trying to sell my two companies and my hospital. I have all the evidence. Hey! The truth is, my supposed husband slept with this thing. But another truth is, she's never pregnant for him. She, will, she has never been pregnant for my husband. Okay, forgive. This thing and my wicked mother-in-law went to a doctor to get a fake result. Oh. Unfortunately and unknowingly for them, the doctor is my friend. So he called me immediately, they left his office to tell me what was going on. Are you pregnant? Huh? Are you pregnant? Probably in your dreams. So we've come to this end of the story and this is the end of it. <laughs> You will pay for every pain you've cost me. I promise you. Thank God she's not pregnant. Uh, my love. Oh, shut hey! up. I don't even need that. Your debt is sorry. Yes, it means nothing when the head is down. I know. It is my fault. Yes, officer, we are done. You can come in and arrest them. Uh, please, let me show them the way in. Bring it up, 